And I was thinking, like, once they cast Clancy Brown, somebody had to have been like, we got we to gotta have another method actor for the other, for the, the kid role. And somebody, whoever said that, or whoever was being told that, thought they said meth head actor. So they, they hired <laughs> Eddie Furlong here. Revival House Network. And don't like to brag, I don't like to boast. They like hot butter on the breakfast toast. Watching flicks, talking chicks, like the motor boat. Can River Man make it your check? Nope. So look at all these movies I got. Commenting like, mmm, should we watch them or not? I know they just be acting for cash. But I still got one question to ask. Like, why'd he do that? Do that? Do that? If that was me, I'd be like, screw that, screw that, screw that. I'm an alpha, I'd eat through that, through that, through that. Mmm, so why'd he do that, do that, do that? Mm. Greetings, everybody. Happy October. Happy uh, Friday and happy re- the return, the, the next coming of Pet Cemetery 2. Because that's this is a very special occasion for me. Okay, and we've been we've been waiting to redo this movie since the day we first did it. We knew it was a fucking <laughs> shitty commentary right from the beginning. Was fucking, that was the first time I ever was on the show. And now we got another first because we've never had Mac on the BTM show at all either. I am wrong. He's been on the show so many times. It's it fucking it's all fucking crumbling before me. We need See, I know right what now that fuck? we're going to one one day we're going to redo this commentary too. Fucking the Pet Cemetery part 3. Part 2. Have you been uh, snorting Smarties again? Calm oh, down. Yeah, man, I'm vibing. I'm vibing. I am I'm so ready for this fucking movie. It's dang. When Zach proposed the idea that we start redoing some commentaries, you know, I thought it was a good idea for some of them, uh, as long as it made sense to redo them. And this was the perfect candidate because, like he said, it's the first one that Zach did with us. Um, it's it holds a special cinnamon, sentimental place in Riverman cinnamon. in my heart. Cinnamon, cinnamon buns, uh, my sticky buns. And uh, you know, as long as we can Make it a little different and enough time has passed, which I think we tick all the boxes. We have Mac on board. Now we're on video and it's been like fucking five or six years. It's been a long ass time. So uh, we always come back to this movie. We did this movie. We didn't do this movie, but we did like a review. We talked extensively about this movie, I think, on our first annual Colin show. Was that was it our first or second annual thing? Oh, God. probably first. I don't know. It was so long ago. So um, anyway, it's just a mainstay with us. So we are going to stream it, obviously. For those of you that are uh, patrons, you can uh, join us on the, the private Discord and Zach streams the movie and you can watch along with us live. Uh, that's a plug there. And also, before we get started, please do us a favor. Help us conquer the shadow ban and like the video and please subscribe to us if you dig it. But uh, I guess we're ready, right? Fucking ready? all this long ass intro bullshit. Fucking, we should have just started the fucking movie as soon as, Start we, the right, fucking soon movie. as we started it. Fucking, I am Jones and to, to watch this movie again. Big Jet movie. All right. I love you guys more. Okay. So three, two, one, play. Oh, yeah. And she's sucking. One of the. Well, yeah, you're going to throw a pig skin over that mountain? Fucking throw that pig skin over that mountain. You want to see me do it? Fucking, you want to see me? I, I bet you I could. I do, Uncle Rico. I got a big cannon arm. Fucking Brett Favre arm. Fucking, he's a beta. Fuck him. I got to say, this is this is a great intro scene. I love it. Never gets old. Uh, we kind of get this faux horror movie uh, beginning. You know, obviously, it's kind of baiting you, but it's going to be Jeff's mom in a horror movie. That's a nice fat wad on the fucking font. We got we got my pet here. Fucking it, it is a pet cemetery. We got another special guest. Go ahead and tell him what you think about this movie. You like it, right? You gonna bury your own tonight? See, yeah, fucking I love this good I love this little girl. Fucking I don't know what I'm gonna do when she has to die and go to pet cemetery. Like, what <laughs> I, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna love just I'm gonna miss you. Mm-hmm. No, <laughs> not if you're gonna bury her in the pet cemetery. What the fuck? You're gonna see her yeah, again yeah. the next morning. She's a big fan of the the Ramones. She told me she don't want to be buried in the pet cemetery. Fucking, that's not what she wants. Okay, she knows. So yeah, yeah she was, I, she was doing uh, like uh, scratching. And she got a. I just had to bring her into the show. Very chad. So I don't make a conscious effort or anything to re-listen to any of the talks we've done on this on this movie or anything going forward just because I want it to be natural. I mean, if we bring up similar shit, so be it. It's been long enough. And uh, But I bet you if we keep it natural, we're going to talk about different stuff. There's always stuff that we forget about. 
And uh, it's also interesting to see if your opinions have changed on it, Todd, in time or anything like that. Look at this right out of the way. This, is, this isn't this is like the first movie. What the fuck? A, a weird, uh, big, gothic castle? Fucking, what are they, are they bringing in new elements into the fucking, uh, the Pet cemetery mythos that I was not expecting? Fucking, this one takes place in medieval England or something. Fucking, I don't know. Is Dracula? <laughs> it's a prequel of a prequel. Fucking Dracula's going to show up or something. What I don't understand is why, why Stephen King didn't want anything to do with this movie, because this is far superior than the first one. I, I wouldn't say it's far superior. I think they're two different flavors, but they're both good. But I think um, it just depends on the mood. But I do. F I think it's, it blows me away that Mary Lambert did both of them because mm -hmm. it just feels like such a different movie tonally. It it seems like because it was straight to video, right? Or did it go theaters? It went I to theaters. Remember. Did it really? Yeah. It just feels like such a straight to video type thing and like something they would have had a different director sign on for. Like Mary wouldn't have came back, but but it blows me away. Fucking Mary is big fucking Stacy. Big concrete fucking clit on that girl. Fucking I want I fucking you suck that titty. You're the, the mommy milkies. You're fucking the baby to her mommy milky and you're just fucking sucking that for like it's like fucking pure brass. Pure brass. Fucking crazy. Amazing. Was that a guitar head that was just showing there? Doesn't this kind of remind you guys of the intro to New Nightmare 2? Like the film set and the glove? Mm hmm Fucking cool Kelvin Klein fucking jacket you got there. Yeah. Look, fucking we got... Bitch. We we got uh, later on we're gonna see our boy uh, method actor uh, fucking uh, Clancy Brown, and I was thinking like once they cast Can Clancy Brown somebody had to have been like we gotta we gotta have another method actor for the other for the the kid role and somebody whoever said that fucking or whoever was being told that thought they said meth head actor so they they hired <laughs> fucking Patty Furlong here. Well, I I listen I listened to the commentary with her, and she said that Ellie Creed is originally supposed to come back, but the studios didn't want a girl as the lead role because it wouldn't sell as well. So uh, she she picked uh, Eddie. I guess that was her first choice. Eddie Caputo. Yeah. I'm Eddie Caputo. <laughs> I, it's it's totally fine. I'm glad it's its own thing, right? I'm glad yeah. it isn't really. I'm gonna get you. I thought you said Eddie Caputo. And I'm gonna get Eddie. That, no that is what he said. What? God, these special Caputo. effects suck. Look at this. I mean. The plastic well, yeah, it's like they're from it, the bottom. This is a D grade movie. It's like it, she's filming a Vincent Price movie in the '90s. Like, what's going on? It almost looked like this had to have been like a full moon set in like. Yeah. The oh, movie. exactly. <laughs> this is a full moon. But then it, later, I was going to say it looks like Castle Freak or something, doesn't it? Uh, no subspecies yeah. or subspecies. <laughs> yeah, or Castle Freak. It looks like full moon movie, but later on, whenever fucking uh, the little shit from a uh, big sit on my hand, Jared Rushton. He's like shitting on our boy Eddie Furlong. He says, he basically says something that the that she won. She wore that at the Tonys or whatever. It's like the she Emmys. won a Tony, the Emmys. Like she was winning Emmys and she was being on these fucking like Charles Band type productions. It it that was that was the babies the nanny that said that. This is so, must be what she wore at the Emmys. Like mm -hmm. she hated when she when people touched her stuff. You know, mm -hmm. <laughs> I'd be a little weirded out though too if like some babysitter came in and started playing with all oh, shit, dude. I know, man. And she's oh, like, here. well, she's cl clearly, yeah. I know. Isn't this the equivalent of a? We, you know, why we hired your kid? Do the line. <laughs> <laughs> do the line. That's what you do. He hit such a high note. He had to have been doing inhales. He had to have been doing inhales. He was cr he was fucking ripping us off. He was <laughs> not squeals. even doing. He was doing that had but. Doesn't that have to be conscious, though? Like, we're opening it up with a mom scream, because that's all he did in T2, and it's all I hear. It's beautiful. Yeah. We got it's Anthony funny. Edwards. Uh, you think he's going through rape, rape you know, uh, what's it called, thoughts in his head now? Because he was molested as a kid. Do you think that's haunting him, even in this scene, and he tapped into that for this movie? Fucking, it's hard to own fucking method actor. Uh, fucking, again, it goes back to my joke about Eddie Furlong. They thought he said method acting. But like it's all good. Fucking see, look at that effect. That's good. That yeah, that was creep me out when I was younger. That's pretty cool. This Blu-ray looks fucking good. I noticed. <laughs> Blu-ray. Blu are you from China now? This Blu-ray. It's good shit. Like fucking, they did a good job. And the blacks are very dark. I like that. Fucking uh, uh, you know, that was not like a racist thing. I I meant like the black colors, like their suits right there. Yeah, I'm getting excited for the uh. 
the Halloween 4K is to come out to see how clear that <laughs> you is. You picked the worst time to interrupt me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no. Well, let's go with that for a second. I, yeah, mm-hmm. mine all got Todd's too. Mine all got updated the dates. Like I, they got all pushed to fucking November. Are you and serious? now that's weird because everyone's getting theirs now. Like everyone's exactly. like, oh, I get mine. I'm getting mine, so I don't know why they got pushed back. No, no, exactly. Then I woke up today and they were all updated, and I had two deliver. I had four and five delivered today, and now one and three, one and. One and three are coming Monday, and two's coming the twenty second. This episode so, is automatically dated to when. Remember, whenever those fucking uh, Halloween four uh, Ks were coming out, and people were buying them for some reason. Even Aaron was buying them and excited to get them, even though he says he hates those fucking movies. Amazing. Yeah, <laughs> so I do. It's Twilight Zone <laughs> fucking episode. We just talked about this last night. Yeah. I know. I watched four with Joe Bob. I finally did that. And I'm like, yeah, it's still not very good. It's like a five at best. Beta. At least a six. Which, which, don't lie. Yeah, that, which, that's which a means, good movie. Now, which which means five is probably like a th- a three at best. I don't. Know, I'd have to rewatch it. If they didn't have Tina, five would have been fucking perfect. <laughs> oh, I, I put. I, I'm joking. I put this over all the Halloween movies. I just hate the. I just hate the fucking kids in the fifth one. <laughs> yeah, she can't talk, and you have that little stutter freak. Tina. He's all, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> He's like, uh, but I do. He's like, but I do. I do. That kid's amazing. <laughs> Fucking. I'm not trying to make fun of a kid. He's not a kid anymore, so it doesn't count. He's probably older than me. That, def- that kid definitely was highly regarded, and you're making fun of a highly regarded person. <laughs> it's Fucking. terrible. I hope so. I hope not. Fucking. Uh, me neither. Exactly. It's deep. That'd be terrible. <laughs> like his face. Look how deep his face is. Look at our boy Eddie. Eddie Furlong. Big Jet. That's is a it. classic house you see in our neighborhood. Is is that the original Creed house? It's very no. classic. They, 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 we do see the original Creed house later. They drive. They ride by it on their yeah. bikes when Clive's yeah. chasing them. Yeah. Which is real. This is, it's, that's about as much of a connection as I need. You know. See, I think this movie has way more nostalgic value for me. But I prefer the first one. I think it's the better movie. But for some reason, like the first one, I didn't watch nearly as much as this one because the first one had that scene with Zelda, which really scared me. So I wouldn't revisit it very often. And the first one's very depressing. But it's funny because this movie's very depressing, too. Like, they both have a really dark and depressing tone. Uh, I guess but this it, one's got a this one's got a more of a brightness to it. I don't better, know how to better score, it. Better I, score and uh, music in this one, I think. It's just, no, but it's goofier, though. You have comic relief. Yeah, Clancy yeah. Brown's kind of... It is kind goofier, of, but it's still, like, it hits... It's kind of like TMN2, it hit, TMNT2. It hits just as hard on the dark. Like, the scene where Gus kills his son and his, like, step... Step oh, that's, yeah. That's like fucking like how they put that in a movie. <laughs> I want to die just like Jesus Christ. It, like the way it ends, yeah. the way it ends is like <laughs> I never knew anybody to die for and it shows the son oh, and mother greatest. laughing. It's like what the fuck? This is so dark. I, well, so it's still he's funny but in a sadistic way, obviously. It's not like goofy, but uh and then also what else? Um I don't know what it is. Um it, Probably just the fact that it's got John Connor in it. I don't fucking know. There's something about it that's a little bit more lighthearted at times. And and Clive, he's kind of a I don't know. It just got a different dynamic. I like the bully high school kid dynamic. Drew Buddy's also. really good too. And I guess this was like his only film. They just picked him out of some uh, yeah. random uh, drama class in Georgia. And he's not a great actor, but he does the job. I he's like good for this. Yeah, he's believable. I don't see why anybody hated this movie when it came out. To me, everybody, like fucking Jared Rushton as the bully is fucking perfect. It's like fucking. He's good. Yeah. I don't, I, I can't really pinpoint why this movie uh, was so hated. It's probably just because it's an all new oh. cast and it's just like, oh, it doesn't have any returning. Oh, they wanted Lewis Creed to return and Judd to fucking come back. And hey, what do they expect? I mean, yeah, I don't know. Fucking yeah. Maybe it was just looking like You want to see like the baby get ran over again? Is that what it is? You sick Yeah, fucks. you fucking creeps. You fucking Look, sick. <sighs> whatever. The jury's out. Whatever you think is the better one, that's neither here or there. But this is a perfect sequel. It stands on its own. Uh, I think it's a good companion piece in a weird way. Uh, and it's just as good for its own reasons. I don't know. Maybe the first one's better. I don't just depends on the day, but this one is more nostalgic. It's more quotable. It just, I don't know. 
Yeah. I think we're one of the only podcasts that put this movie over and everybody else hates it's it. It's just easy to watch. I don't know. It's just like you could put it in and not be bored watching. Perfect. Doesn't Italian it look this? He's wearing a fucking Ted Theodore Logan jacket, except it's not a happy face in the back. It just reminds me of a Ted jacket. No, but that's, that also goes in hand with what I'm saying, where it's got a little bit more of a lighthearted tone to it because it's quotable. I just wanted a fucker. None yeah, of that shit. Yeah. There's none of that stuff in the first one. It's it's really serious, right? Except for, you know, uh, sometimes that is better. That is Why better. Why did you dig oh. up my wife, Gus? <laughs> every time, every yeah. time Jed talks, is kind of fucking memorable. I, I know, but it's so serious. And this is like, I don't know. That is better! And fucking, I love you more. And that fucking weird slow motion choppy frame is great. Zomb- fucking- Zombie Clyde is, is fantastic. He's creepy, oh, man. He creeped me dude. out. Well, same thing, man. Yeah, I'm just fucking with you and eat it. Eat it. Oh, daddy. Daddy got a boo-boo. It's yeah, just, it kind of nice. reminds me of Idle it's Hands. So <laughs> I, still, I still use that as my... Fa- Whenever I'm having sex with a big Stacy, big titty, to big mommy milky uh, Stacy, I fucking... <laughs> I use that finishing move, uh, that thing. He says, I'm like, here it fucking comes, buddy. Here it fucking comes. <laughs> That's that's big Chad, big Stacy shit. They, <laughs> there's a lot of really interesting slowdown of effects in this movie. Because they do it there. Here it fucking comes. Like he's going slow. Yeah. And like I said, there's the whole I love you more where it's like it slows down to three Hello. frames per second. Yeah, that's the best part. Yeah. <laughs> it, Why it's do they do that? I don't know, but <laughs> did the fuck? It looks like did the fuck. <laughs> Well, that's what I'm saying. That's why it it's feels such a weird. weird touch. That's why it's that's why it's so weird that Mary Lambert did this one because it's just directed differently. It feels differently. Everything about it's edited. It just doesn't feel connected in that way. But uh, I love this movie, man. It's so cool. And there's a there's gonna be a scene coming up uh, where he's getting chased by Clive. We'll get to it obviously on the bikes. And he first kind of meets Drew, and you know he says that thing. Uh, st- it's like uh, sometimes I wish you know. <laughs> you know Gus would be dead or whatever and it's like they did this in one take they didn't want to get another furlong take but it's so fucking bad where he's like you shouldn't say that about your parents even your dad it's fucking cringe because he's not even looking at his, his eyes are closed he's like kicking the dirt and he just says not even your dad it's weird <laughs> i i always i always pick that up as like he fucking he said that as like he knows that's what he's supposed to say but he he's probably felt the same way fucking like he's he's being very uh big chad energy <laughs> fucking uh, he's he's method why would, he, why would he want anthony edwards to die unless it's one of those things where like it should be i like mom better exactly fucking yeah. He's a prick. He was fucking. He, she had the big Hollywood Stacy job, hanging out with fucking uh, rubbing elbows with her boy from fucking Full Moon Entertainment, and then fucking this guy. He's just a veterinarian. That's not cool. But this is one of those movies where, uh, like, a veterinarian dad isn't gonna get you pussy. Basically, is, there is you how go. Eddie looked at it. <laughs> well, this movie is great because I mean, even if like the kids aren't the great, well, Clive is awesome, but. Drew's obviously not a great actor, but he's great in the role. Uh, I, st- I don't think Eddie Furlong is a great actor, but he does what he does. But every all the characters are great. They're all awesome, yeah. man. Uh, they're so good. His dad's great. Gus fucking steals the show, arguably, every time he's on, on camera. Uh, even the mom is creepy at the end. She's so fucking creepy. Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> Jeff, I love you. That's probably the most hokey thing about it is her get up. I love it, dude. That used to creep me out, man. Mm-hmm. I'm melting. It's fucking good. Yeah. It's all great. <laughs> so many quotes, dude. I sh- I didn't realize uh, Todd was going to do that. She's not your mom, Jeff. I should have been. I'm melting. Damn it. Or something, dude. <laughs> didn't uh, you guys find out live on the show during our last commentary that she doesn't say daddy's all better? Or something yeah. Like that? Well, no, that was me because I always thought she said it's like a Mandela effect. I always thought she said daddy's all better because he's like not your mom jeff because he looks fucking half dead for god's sakes and he's helping him out and i i thought she was just saying that because i'm like hey no state your daddy's good but uh but But she's saying dead is better which is like oh it links it to the first movie but in real life it makes no sense that she would say that yeah yeah that's another thing too it doesn't make sense that she would say dead is better so to me daddy's all better fit the scene better because he's clearly hurt and also it's followed by we're trying to work things out. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I'm like, it just, it all fit better to me. <laughs> We're trying to work things out. <laughs> Fucking look at that. We got our boy, Je- uh, Jared Rushton, big Chad, big Chad. Okay, he should have had the big career other than fucking Tom Yanks. Tom Yank, fucking, what a, a low T beta. Yeah. Jared Rushton was where it was. I, I hear you in that. Rushton looks a lot like, um, what's his Chad? name? Fuck. 
No. Uh, the Chad meme, where it's just like, yes. So you, I can't. I, I'm. Go ahead. You forgot. You forgot the the famous Gus quote: "No brain, no pain. Think about it." Amazing. <laughs> no brain, no pain. Think about it. Yeah, it's so good, dude. <laughs> I forget that fucking quote exists. No, I'm saying uh, Clive looks like John Waite, you know, that singer. I ain't missing you at all since oh, yeah. you've been gone. He looks just like him. Oh, wait. Just like him, dude. And yeah. it's funny because he's the perfect bully, but some of this shit's cringe, just like a bully would say. It's like, what's the, like, you ever seen a cat run? No, I mean, really run. Like, it's not even clever. Like this. What's the one where he's like, that. fucking, you gonna, I'm going to fucking kill you like a mom. And it's like, that's fuck. <laughs> what the f- <laughs> Something like that. It's like, that's a little harsh. That kid in the, right there, he looks like the fucking uh, a bootleg Big Pete from Pete and Pete. Yeah. Oh, he does. No, but that kids are like that in movies, man. And I, I, I like I said, in Halloween 4, I just watched it again. The kids that are picking on Jamie for being an orphan. And her mom and dad are both freshly Jamie's dead in the last six months. Boogie, man. She's like, no, fucking, she's going to tell your mommy. How can she? Her mom is dead. It's dead. like, <laughs> <laughs> and and she is just she she runs off crying and I'm like were kids really this fucking brutal well, like I, did they see in my version of the movie she would have went to the teacher and said he just said this and she was like my oh version, really she would have punched the fucking and, shit and, out the, of the, you just see like a fucking roundhouse kick to a fucking brick. child hit him with a brick from a grown teacher <laughs> but you know what <laughs> kids kids Jamie's age almost have a little bit more of an excuse because they're so immature to make those kind of jokes dude Clive is more brutal man because come on this guy's like fucking what 14 and he's fucking saying this shit that's brutal well, man everybody knows that one kid in high school that was kind of like him you know yeah <laughs> oh yeah for sure I'm not gonna mention any names but we had some oh Plus we had dogs the, them all we, we had the kid that fucking hit the cr- kid in the wheelchair dude punched him in the face yeah there's there's the creed house I'm just going to call him BJ. That'll be his name for this purpose. Uh, see, I don't know why the guy for the fucking, uh, the, the Creed singer is like the fucking guy that's so famous. Yeah. Like the, the actual Creed Can family. Take me? The Creed family should have remained the heir to that name. Fucking uh, old Chris Creed or whatever his fucking name was. The, yeah, Scott was, Stash should have played his father. That would have been awesome. <laughs> I call Chris Creed. Yeah. He should have played his father fucking six years before he was even on the map or had a career. Yes. I love this though, fucking. Oh yeah, they buried her back here at a big cemetery. Like this is shit that is just like great in movies when you're a kid. I love that. Just back there, Jeff. I like how animated he is. Just back there, beyond those rocks. The thing about this is, uh, I I think why it resonates with people so much. Well, '90s, we grew up in the '90s. <laughs> yeah. You know, the kids are pretty pretty like. Well, they kind of remind you of us. <laughs> Back in the day, I, I, I always liked when he said that. Oh, what are you gonna do, fat ass? Sick big fat old Gus on me, <laughs> fucking asshole. What he when he steps for? He steps up, dude. What are you gonna do, fat ass? J- Jared Rush is kind of chubby in this movie compared to how he wasn't big. Fucking, he shouldn't be talking. You mean compared to him being ten? Yeah, I love it, dude. It's like he pissed me off. I'm like, ah, dude, fucking, don't sound cocky. You got your ass beat. How old was Jared Rush in uh, Honey We Shrunk the Kids? Oh god, I don't even know. A little older, Probably. like maybe a year older. Maybe the, yeah, like maybe like a year or two before this. Well, a lot of growing goes on from like ten to fucking fourteen or whatever the fuck they are. Exactly. He was probably he was probably ten and big, and he was probably eleven or twelve and in, in uh. He was quite a bit older than he did in big. Big, he's really young. Yeah, he's like. They they really did capture the fall Halloween Halloween theme here in this movie, which oh yeah, that's probably why I love it so much. Yeah, no, exactly. This one feels way more Halloweeny. This is a very Halloweeny movie, uh, and obviously they they have the holiday represented here, where they're gonna have that fucking party. You know, that's right. It takes place around Halloween. Yeah, you kids bet. Yeah, th- there's something about it. You know, what Drew? What did you say? That's another one. Uh, yeah. So there's something about, it. and yeah, it looks more fall. The grass they captured it. I don't remember what. It what is it like? Fucking summer. Yeah, schools in session in fucking the first one. It's college, so there's there's no seasonal aspect to it at all. Yeah. I don't know though. Yeah, the first one it just kind of hits a little harder. Yeah, fucking the it, it, No, it is. About, it's it's scary. It's like scarier and it, it's, it's a good movie. I like I love the first one, but this it's not about okay, this more you watchable. The, the difference is like the first movie actually when we did the commentary for the first movie, we got kind of depressed. It is kind of a depressing when movie. When Gage yeah. when Gage gets hit, you don't think that's funny at all and it kind of brings the room down every time. When fucking Clive gets fucking killed. He's a he's funny. Whoops. 
Uh, he goes in reverse. Whoops! <laughs> but at the same time, at the same time, it's really like gruesome because it's like a kid, and it's like the way oh, he it, dies is so gruesome. Like, but, but I'm saying, but it, think about it. The way they sh so when Gage dies, the way it's shot in a dramatic sense, you see Lewis Creed yelling in slow motion, and you just see his shoe fly in the air, and it's fucking, it's just devastating. But the way they film someone like Clive getting killed. They focus on Clancy Brown's face the whole time, and it's like the blood splattering on his face. Whoops! And it more, it's it's filmed like a comedy. I think <laughs> it's ridiculous. Well, well it, it, go ahead. Uh, she, I was gonna say Mary Lambert is fucking based and compelled. Jizzy. This is arguably one of the the best uh, movies in a song that Jan King song. I feel you fading away. I feel you fading away. He sounds like a four non blondes bitch. We are well, not that's, there yet. We can't. I know we're not there up. yet. Oh, yeah, we're okay. not there. Okay. Yeah, you're you're way <laughs> jumping it. But I will say too, that's another aspect that makes this movie a little bit less serious. Is it's got that weird ninety soundtrack. This shit wasn't in the first movie. It was all score and atmosphere, and this one's got songs injected into it you know i mean well i don't know if you watched did you watch the blu-ray um bonus features where they actually talked to the composer and everything like that i going? didn't all i ever watched was the, i watched the furlong interview on youtube but i haven't watched the well, oh, what did come he on, say you get on that. oh he, he basically they basically were just saying that uh they wanted a 90s grunge vibe when it oh, came and to they, the, they accomplished it but uh but they were pretty much the first ones uh to to go down that route, and it wasn't wasn't uh, people really didn't like it at first because you know Scream took that whole atmospheric um, '90s era, and mm -hmm. uh, Pet Cemetery Two is pretty much the first one that actually did it. Hey, it, it hey wasn't guys, well watch it. Here it is. Here it is. Sometimes I wish Gus would die. Look at him. Watch. Look at his response. You shouldn't say that about your parents. Not even your dad. I don't think he does it that that's bad. That's just his. That's just oh. his accent, though. He can't. Oh, he's that. like looking away for the. He's like I don't know. It's fucking bad. We can't really, we rewind. Rewind it. I'm just no, we can't rewind it. It's fine. <laughs> I think it's cringe every it's time just, he that's does just it. Just his accent. Look, I'm gonna fucking show off my uh, Blu-ray because I know somebody's clicking on this video. Like I thought I was gonna watch the movie. Where can I watch it? It's fucking right here. You can just buy it. I gotta start doing that too. You guys are doing that on the last one with Goat. I'll get my fucking copy ready. It's a fucking dank oh, ass movie. I can't remember if I still have my VHS or if that got pitched at the last convention. I don't even fucking remember. I still have the VHS. Look, they're oh, setting yeah. up the nice bonnies. Place. They're setting up the bonnies that are gonna die later by Clancy Dude, Brown. Drew's mom is a milf. Gilf. <clears throat> oh yeah, very attractive. She was in a lot of films. I don't. What else was she in? A lot of no budget, low budget crap, but. She was in a lot of shit. She was in my dreams, dude, running through my mind all the time. Dude, she's so fucking lucky. She got to get raped by zombie Gus. Fucking the what an big, honor. big ass fucking big cock, Mr. Krabs. Big, big, big Mr. Krabs. Our, our, boy, I, our boy did do Mr. Krabs' voice, Clancy Brown. Big chat. I, I, love, I love this dude. She's getting all comfortable with the mom role. The first day is always the toughest. You're not my mom. <laughs> fucking it's great. This chick is big, Stacy. If I was fucking furlong, I'd be trying to mac on her, like trying to get that fucking Pornhub video where it's like, oh, your dad's been out at work all day, son. Fucking, you've been, uh, you, you, you uh, been uh, working out too? Like, oh, God. I never <laughs> noticed this either. And I don't know if, I don't know if this was intentional, but she even kind of looks like his mom in a way, but a younger version, the same hair, the same complexion and stuff like that. So I don't know if that was like intentional, like, like to emphasize the replacement. Does Gus and the fucking uh, his household do they have the fucking singing bass or is that just a fucking you know stuffed bass? I don't know if they had the singing basses back then. I think they came out like literally in night. That phenom hit in like ninety five, ninety six. It <sighs> it was like all the rage. It might have even been early two thousands. No, it, I know. I remember living in Kentucky in the mid nineties, and that shit was God. everywhere. I know. But hey, you know what? You know what would have made this movie darker? It's like if they wanted to get on the level of the purse pet cemetery, a change the music, but b instead of Gus raping his mom, he rapes Drew, and there's like a weird fucking zombie like chi chimo thing going on. That'd have been fucking dark. This this is fucking. I forgot he rapes her in this movie. Yeah, fucking. It's yeah. so dark. It's so fucking. It's it's when it's like lighthearted, but it's not at all. It's did, yeah, did I know it's. Ever, did we ever figure out what happened to Drew Buddy's real dad? I don't think they even mentioned him. No, they never mentioned it, but I think Drew Buddy looks like a young Al Borland. 
He does, he does, dude. Pre-facial hair, dude. <laughs> I don't think so, Gus. Dude, the fucking Al Borno never did have facial hair in that show. You're a fucking mess. Remember, that's Mandela effect shit. You're just thinking of Drew Buddy and thinking that he had no hair. Now hair. stop being a little jerk and show us some appreciation. Exactly. <laughs> Look at it. Look at fucking our boy Drew Buddy. Look at big ass Jad. Just fucking like turns his channel right in his face. Like fuck Ooh. you. Turn, trying to turn him off, pretty much. Yeah, exactly. Oh, but he. What little does he know? He turns him on, baby. <laughs> yeah, he's exactly. gonna get it later. Dude, I love it. I want to squeeze. Can I squeeze the cheeks? Squeeze the when cheeks. I'm, when I'm dating a chick that has a, a kid like this, I'm always like, fucking, uh, you know, you should uh, go outside. I'm going to, you know, give your uh, mother a hard dicking. I'm gonna give your mother <laughs> hard dicking. Wouldn't it, be, wouldn't it be funny? Wouldn't it be funny if that's what was going on when he, like, raids their Halloween party? Like, you kids better not be what smoking and drinking all bitch that shit. What a mom. <laughs> when, he, when, he's, when, he, when he's attacking, when he's attacking uh, Drew in the woods... And, you know, he's like, you go home to Jeff. And he's, like, pulling his pants down, dude. He's going to fucking bunk his ass in the woods. That'd be fucking brutal. <laughs> <laughs> instead, of the, instead of the cross, he's all like, more cushion for the pushing. Ah. What, do you think, uh, basically, uh, they're setting it up that uh, the mom is kind of in a battered relationship? Or is it just like the t like the stereotype, like oh, the guy is coming in and kind of walking, and she's like fucking. Uh, I don't know if I'm comfortable. Well, the stepdad's usually the asshole the free first year. But, but I, I I don't think they insinuate uh, that he hits her. Yeah, and I don't think I, he. I don't I don't, uh, no, because I don't and I don't and I don't think they insinuate that. Is he real? He doesn't fucking hit Drew. I mean, he's, he would be. You would see the fucking evidence for. It. I just think he's a hard ass dick. You know what I mean? Like, well, he was talking about, uh, yeah, he was, oh, he was going to beat the, he was going to beat the shit out of him. He was going to beat the shit out of him with a giant fucking two by four across or whatever the fuck, dude. Well, I don't know if he was going to, yeah. So maybe he does have it in him. Well, he's talking about Anthony Edwards, dead wife at the funeral. Remember like how they oh, used to like, date yeah. and stuff like that. It's <laughs> he's like, like, that's not appropriate, dude. What does he say? He's like, we, you know, you, you and your mom, your mom and me, we're high school sweethearts. <laughs> He's like, yeah, prom, homecoming, the whole nine yards. It, it's like he could have malicious intent, but he might just be a fucking like uh, totally, uh, what's that called? Fucking like uh, tone deaf idiot. Yeah, but he was also the jock bully in school type, right? That became the town oh. sheriff and the cop and all that shit. I mean. Um, ex exerting his power like that. Um, I think. Yeah, right here he shoots fucking Zowie for no reason, just to be a. Yeah, dick. he's an asshole. What drew? You, what did you, can't you say? Can't blame him. He's trying to get his pinky stinky. You can't blame him. <laughs> oh, it's because Zowie keeps getting in the rabbits, dude. I mean, he cares more about those fucking rabbits. Why does he sell them on the fucking side? What is he doing with these rabbits? Fucking, okay, he's gonna be scanning them later. I mean, they make stew great. Fucking, okay, that's sad. that's sad. Where, where, Zowie. where do you? Where do you get those sort of white rabbits if not at a pet store? Those are not wild. Like, so why are they in a cage? Did he buy a whole bunch of white rabbits at a pet store so he could fucking eat them? I'm very confused. See, I think he's trying to, like, leave behind his old days of being a sheriff or whatever the fuck. And he wants to be a ma uh, magician. Like, he wants to be like the Amazing Randy or something. Fucking uh, just come out and fucking pull a rabbit out of his hat. And he's just trying to get that down. And fucking Drew Buddy, he's just being a fucking little bitch and won't, like, won't let him fuck a Stacy of a mom whenever he wants to. Here's your song. Here's your song, Todd. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm really afraid of the way. The way the vocals are sung in this song is, like, comically over the top. Like, it sounds like she's trying to make it sound like, is this ironic? Like, well, it's, it's, it sounds like that four non blondes bitch. Step outside and out of that fucking shit. That's amazing. That's just good shit right there. <laughs> That's like what's going on. That's like a uh, tiny Tim <laughs> shit. That's like some SpongeBob SquarePants shit you hear. Uh, dude, that's the saddest when they zoom in on Zowie's face, given the performance of a lifetime, and he's just he's oh, blinking. Boy. She kind of sounds. She kind of sounds like uh, Bonnie Tyler too. Yeah, she does. Big Stacy. Wait, but with way bigger tits. What is Bonnie Tyler? What did? Yeah, is is it, it Bonnie Tyler? Mountain bike. It is Bonnie Tyler. No, That's that what, is Bonnie yeah. Tyler. No, it's not Bonnie Tyler. Yes, it is. Singing this. Let me see. I I. Oh, it's Jan King or whatever her name is. Hold, well, Bonnie Tyler. There's something. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna look it up. They might have hired her because she sounds like Bonnie Tyler. It might be one of those things. But I oh, there's something that's that that rang a big bell. 
Bonnie Tyler did some I, of those I, Diamond songs, very Stacy. Bonnie Tyler, I swear to you, did some horror movie. Big Stacy. I'm gonna look it up. But yeah, I always remember this scene where you're like, fucking, uh, this is where they make the ultimate like fucking terrible decision. Like, oh, fucking, I'm gonna bury Zap. I love him walking with that fake dog. That doesn't even seem to resemble the dog we just saw. It's like darker. <laughs> And corpses tend to get stiffer when they enter rigor mortis, and that sets in. Not like they they don't fucking become an empty pillow, a pillowcase. It's probably like an eighty pound dog too. You would think. If yeah, I, he just. If <laughs> I remember right, uh, they had to spray paint the fake dog because it didn't look anything like Zowie. So they had to like just fucking hurry up and try to fix it. And it's like this is kind of what we got. It looks uh, like it's obviously not the same dog. Or am I just crazy? You guys reckon like you always thought that too? Right? No, it just looks like a fucking a puppet, stuffed animal. Yeah. It looks like, um, yeah, it's just I, I never really got past that. To be honest with you, I didn't look at all the fine details. Look at that head dangling. Did he break his neck too? This is a cool set too because it's like I was wondering, like, so did they build this set and then just leave it there just in case they decided to make a sequel? Because it, it looks like literally the same shit. Or did they have to recreate it all? I don't know. Speak it. Would it be really be that hard to recreate it though? Probably not. Fucking. So, uh, so speaking of sequel, it still blows my mind that uh, let's ignore the fucking remake. They let this franchise die because it just feels like it feels like we would have easily seen a Pet Cemetery three, four, and five on straight to video. Like they would have beat it to death with straight to video. Oh, that would been awesome. No, probably not. But I mean, but you know, I would have. You know what's funny is as a kid when I wanted to be like a director. I bet they do something sooner or later. Well, apparently they're already working on a prequel to the remake. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, I thought it was going to. Is it going to be a TV show, though? I don't know. There's not. I think it's like a pet cemetery. I, who knows? I remember when I was growing up, though, and I was like, uh, when I grow up, I want to be a director. I, I had two ideas. I'm going to fucking make Bill and Ted 3. Uh -huh. <laughs> and I'm going to make Pet Cemetery 3. Fucking the Big Chad. Are you gonna bring like, back Eddie? Uh, fucking, you could do anything. You could bring new characters. You could bring back Eddie. Fucking, uh, I was just like, why didn't they do that? You gotta, you gotta make Pet Cemetery three. You gotta, but recast Jeff as a girl, but she's a trans girl. Oh yes, big Stacy ass titties and a big fucking dank ass dick. Bring in Danny Cookski too. Oh yeah, bring in Danny Cookski. Mm -hmm. That'd be great. I'm sure he would. He's a working actor. Hey, I think I saw that kid. You're so ah. Never you know what? Again. We should we should convince Danny Cooksey to just become a trans woman, and it will kill two birds with one stone. I mean, he kind of looks like a fucking trans woman that, when he had the that, mullet. That just have him grow back out. Fucking Stacy, fucking just grab that shit. Why are you fucking? <laughs> <laughs> I hope he still has that. No, he Probably doesn't. Him. I remember he seeing. Doesn't. I remember seeing a video of I've him. I've seen him. I've seen a video of him like uh, hanging out at a Hey Arnold convention because he played Stoop Kid. Yeah. Hey, come here, Tubby. I'm going to roll you downtown. Fucking big Chad. Well, they, they interview him on that documentary, The Orange Years. You know, mm. do. He does conventions and shit sometimes, I think. He's a big Chad. Dude. So, I don't know, man. I I kind of envy this, man. How fun would that have been Like when you were a kid to like find an old graveyard, go through the woods, and dig a hole all day? That wouldn't be fun. That wouldn't be fun. It, kinda, I mean, I it sounds like some fun cemeteries shit. and shit all the time for like ghost hunting, but that's about it. Not the hey, Aaron was that dumbass kid that went around looking for old people that wanted to pay him like two bucks to dig a hole in their backyard. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say looking for old people to bury. Yeah, that dude. Oh yeah. Like you want to save some money? You're pretty close. <laughs> Look around, Aaron. Will you bury me? Fucking hey, hey kid, you want to dig a hole in my backyard? Uh, I'll sure. dig you a grave no. right now for half the price. <laughs> Like it, it, to me, like it, when I was a kid, it's like, how are you oh, sure how much you're gonna give me? Like two bucks. It's like, well, I, I need at least five. You fucking yeah. People uh, to, people totally take advantage of kids. Like, well, this kid two bucks is a fucking uh, oh, wealth. <laughs> this is is insane. I'll let him do it for two bucks. How does this get a twenty two percent on Rotten Tomatoes? That's, that's why you got to do the dentist, fucking the menace. You got to scam them. Oh yeah, we got to do that movie too. That's a good film. Fucking uh, Christopher Lloyd playing a Plato uh, Play file. Fucking uh, how can you long hair Plato file covered in grease through the whole movie? <laughs> He's a grease. Cuts fucking apples in half. Sleazy boy. Takes out a fucking switchblade and fucking cuts apples and fucking just. 
what stands outside Sneezy. the fucking the uh, the uh, schoolyard and is fucking just Patrick watching Sneezy. the kids. I I love this scene by the way. This is quintessential Gus is an asshole because he says I was burying my dog and he just goes life is full of lessons, buddy. Like you're not above them. No, they're by. I'm like wait a second. So this was a lesson for him, but what about Zowie? Like what lesson was it for Zowie? You were Dude, the, that- in the wrong place at the wrong time. I don't- that's the kind of shit, like, if I had a dad that, like, fucking did that shit, that, that would scar me so much that, like, I would have to get back at him, and I'd probably do it by fucking jacking off in his fucking face while he's sleeping. And I'd, I'd wake him the fuck up right as I come. No, you'd fuck his hot-ass wife, who would be your mom, I guess, in this situation. Fucking Still. hell yeah. Fucking hell yeah. <laughs> you'd have to... F- <laughs> okay. Let me in! Is that the fucking... Is that Gozer from Ghostbusters? What is this? There you go. Look at this Stacy. She is S T A Y S E E. Big Stacy. Zowie, baby, you want to come in, baby? You want to you wanna come in here, sweetie? You want me to take my shirt off for you, baby? And I like how he has the audacity to get mad at Drew. Like, how? where do you come off lying? I mean, I was burying my dog. Like, exactly. are you fucking serious right now? First of all, it looks like he was buried. Second of all, you shot my dog. Let's not forget that. Why? Why? Why is that still not the top thing? Z- Zowie is literally fucking terrifying looking. Uh, it's kind of hard to believe that any parent would be like, okay, and just let the dog in looking like this. Oh, I know. <laughs> and there's no way that my dad, after murdering a dog, would be like, okay, let's take him to the vet. Oh, isn't he cute? Nobody would have did that, dude. He'd be like, no, this dog, we got to finish the job. This dog ran away. Keep that in mind. Like His fucking eyes are literally blood fucking red. But he's, he I looks know. sweet. Fucking just comes in and bebops like, fucking pet me, bro. He looks like a fucking critter. Critters are cool. He's just bleeding out the side. Doesn't that dog look just like the dead uh, fucking stuffed doll they were carrying around in the last scene Dude, we were watching? And he's still an asshole. Okay, so you'd think if you were someone like Gus that uh, acted first and probably thought later and you had a temper... If you killed and shot your stepson's dog, you, you'd you have to feel a little bit bad. Like, ah, oh, fucking, I went too far. A little bit. And so the dog comes back. You have a second chance. What do you do? You fucking yank it out by its neck. He's going back outside. Like, dude, fucking that guy's yeah. got a big... He has giant fucking... Like, buckshot in this fucking side, for God's sake. That's sakes. the thing. You're assuming he is a rational person. Maybe he is just, like, literally a fucking crazy person. Like, fucking... I don't feel bad that I shot his dog. Fucking... I thought it was pretty funny. Fucking, he might be a little kind of uh, off the deep end from the beginning. We never know. That Maybe that's a cool uh, idea to watch and think about as fans of the movie. Hmm. Why do you, does it, is it me or does it seem like uh, when they, they turn in this movie, Gus and uh, Clyde and stuff like that, they retain more of their real personality than I think they do in the first movie? Well, I guess all we have to go off of is Gage. I never really, I never really thought that. I, to me, it seems pretty consistent. But fucking, Mrs. Creed was pretty. She had a personality. Yeah, it's it's to yeah. me it works. It's fucking. Uh, I don't know. Like it's like yeah, fucking. It's so creepy to think about. Like fucking. Oh yeah, imagine if you bury like. Because I remember when I was a kid, I immediately thought like fucking uh, the morality. Like you would want. Like, you love your like someone in your family. You want to bring them back, but it's like fucking. They come back and they're fucking. That's just creepy. Like it. it the thought would never cross my mind if this was like a, a movie that you could do. Like to fucking uh, do it. Like no way. That's, that's creepy shit. What What do you think the logic is here though? So they get buried. And do they come back possessed by a totally separate <laughs> demon? Yes, baby, look at me. I'm aware of I love it. Dog. Look, that was another slowdown effect. And look at that zoom out. Look, it's so fucking... Look at that 90s shit. Uh, I love it. For some reason, uh, our boy Jeff keeps having dreams about Zowie. He comes in, and later on, Jeff's uh, dad is going to have a dream where he's fucking his wife. And then uh, and Zowie the turns into uh, <laughs> Zowie with tits. It's amazing. Not going to lie, it's hotter. Just kidding. Fucking, uh, yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say no to the fucking to the beast and heat looking like that. Fucking <laughs> Zowie. You got some big mommy milkies. But, uh, no, but what do you guys think? Is it a uh, pet cemetery when they when they come back? Are they just possessed by a demon, or is it really like an evil version of them? You know what I mean? Like, how, what what what's the logic here? Fucking uh, the way. Our boy Stephen King described it is that they just come back fucking with no soul or something like fucking uh, they're just back 
from the dead and there's nothing uh that was they're just reanimated flesh basically and they're, they're just acting on instinct fucking uh oh yeah like zombies pretty much yeah drawing that blood from that dog i gotta take a piss in a cup no. We're gonna take a piss in a cup right on the show. Let's do it. Let's make it like a, 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 a true bag. Betty won't. Buddy won't do it. But you don't do it. Betty don't do it. I hope I you hope don't you do don't. it. Because I want to retain that fucking uh, glorification. I am the on screen pisser. Is that always cool though? Fucking mixer of the elixir. On screen pisser. Oh yeah. Max, should we do? Should we eat another Ben and Jerry's? I need another drink. <laughs> so fucking, uh, what have you been up to, River Man? Well, it's just uh, watching a few movies and hanging out, playing working Nintendo. a shit ton. No, uh, yeah, playing a little Nintendo with the boy. And uh, I didn't know dude, that new Metroid came out. I was so excited because I got the it? new. I got the new job, and it was like fucking. I'm gonna actually be able to buy Metroid Prime, but I, I didn't consider the fact that like sometimes jobs. They don't pay, like, there's, like, a delay on your first paycheck. Yeah, you gotta wait, like, an extra And it's like, oh, uh, I thought that, and then I was like, oh, that would fucking kill me. And then it turned out it was, like, probably, that's probably what's gonna do. I get paid tomorrow, so I guess I'll see if I get anything. But fucking, I'm, I was hoping I'd get fucking, yeah, the new uh, uh, Metroid Dread. i sell some blood or something. Plasma. I, I, I definitely can sell some cum. I have so much of that. And I'm always coming perpetually from every poor body. Uh, oh, here, we're, we're at the Halloween section of the movie. Uh, fucking I will drink his cum. I will suck <laughs> his blood. Very no, that's right. I will, th I will suck his dick. Yeah, I know. Fucking now, like, she's like, that's not funny. I, I that's She funny. does play the role really well because, like, that is how it's like when you have, like, an asshole stepfather figure or even real father figure that's treating your kid like shit. The mom, like, she doesn't approve of it, but she doesn't stop it either. This is messed up right here, dude. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> fucking punking him. Yeah, well, the the dead mom mummy. Dude, is he one of the dudes at the beginning of TMNT2? <laughs> what are you, night security? <laughs> oh, is that is that how hard he is? He's going as, like, a fucking gas station, like, gun robber? I don't you know what I mean? Right. See, when people were bitching about wearing masks in the COVID, I, I was like, why aren't people using this as an excuse to walk in to a fucking gas station or a bank with that mask on? And like, oh, it's okay. I'm just, I'm not going to rob you. I'm just, it's the mask. Get it? Fucking that would, I, the way people weren't scratching that off their bucket list when they had the chance. So stupid. I, I like when that guy in TMNT 2 is like, he lifts his fucking pantyhose. He's like, what are you, night security? And then puts it back on. Like, we yeah, saw your fucking hilarious. face. Just fucking kick the shit out of him. It's hilarious. Yeah, I think it's pointing it's out genius. that... genius. Maybe it's pointing out that criminals tend to not fucking... Uh, that tend to not have a lot of money, which probably meant uh, bad education, maybe. Fucking, uh, maybe it was getting that deep. What if they're the fucking five head? <laughs> He's just really stupid. Exactly. They all were. How, just... Listen, I, I, feel for, I feel for Gus. I'm on the pisser. How, how can she expect him to raise that boy right when she keeps letting him break the law? Fucking, uh, because he's a big, big Chad. You gotta let the kid break the law. He's gotta find a girlfriend and get that fucking dick wet. She knows it. She's the mom and knows that. That's big Chad shit. He's the dad and doesn't even fucking give him that benefit. Like, fucking, fuck Drew. I hope he doesn't get laid. Fucking pussy. See, Mr. Krabs is kind of a cock. Drew, it's time for the law, little boy. Fucking, uh, Mr. Krabs is kind of a cock. Fucking, he, he's not very Money. base and cum -pilled. Fucking he 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 would not physically he needs that income. Now I'm just thinking of Mr. Krabs doing these lines. No, he's great. Pet cemetery. I would have lied, man. Like, yeah, he went to uh See, Walmart. This is how big it looks for him. Kmart. Our boy's already a beta because he has a chance to fuck her right now because the kid's gone. And he can fuck her as loud. Like, they can get really loud. They can fucking do it on the fucking kitchen couch. They can do it on the fucking table. And he's going to go fucking, uh, fucking around with this stupid kid. What a fucking pussy. I love all the embellishments of the local lore, right? Where it's like, dig it up, little gauge. Maggots pouring out of his eyes. Like, that's exactly how it would be. I know. Fucking... This this scare this story scared the shit out of me as a kid. Like this the idea like fucking. Here's the best part. 
Yeah, uh, the way he just described it, it's like, it's fucking creepy. It's like maggots dripping out. It's fucking. Is that one of the Hanson know. brothers? It, it should have been. They should have. That should have been their cameo. Fucking remember, <laughs> remember, but like in like two thousand or like ninety four or whatever, where the Hanson brothers were. Uh, they they uh, hosted Snick. Is this supposed to be that guy from Beetlejuice. They what? hosted Snick. Oh. Remember what that? he looks? He looks like Otho. What? What are you talking about? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about that kid right there. Dracky looks like the fucking fat guy from Beetlejuice. <laughs> Otho got the handbook. The Hanson brothers, they hosted Snick on Nickelodeon. Remember that? Oh, yeah. No, I wasn't watching fucking Nickelodeon in then. Nah, he liked Beta. it. Beta. So he did. What a gay wad. See, we need to just bring back the, the term gay wad. Fucking just that's the most meme thing we can talk and say to people now. Fucking gay wad. <laughs> yeah, that's that was like our favorite word. Exactly. You get out of here, Jeff Matthews. So yeah, he's gonna fucking just beat the shit. He's beating the shit out of him. Beat the and he doesn't. Out of him. He doesn't even wait till Jeff Matthews fucking leaves. He's letting him just bear witness to all this. He slapped him around like a little bitch, and now he's gonna beat the shit out of him with a fucking log. I mean, oh no, it's not. It's a cross. That's right. You gotta hit him with a fucking brick. <laughs> Oh, yeah, give it to me, baby. But if Zowie's is pure evil, why is he not just attacking anybody? Why because is he. Whoever buries him, he's obeys to. <laughs> that's not true because fucking uh, Gage. That's how the. A no, because that's how the animals are. For some reason, it's just just like that with the animals. I was the about humans, to say because Lewis Creed's wife killed him. <laughs> yeah. I mean. Uh, yeah, with humans, it's, it's weird in the book. It explains that. Like. It just, if it's an animal, they'll obey you. They'll be yours. That's why fucking church followed Creed around. Do you think uh, Lewis Creed's wife let let him fuck the socket before she did him in? What? Nothing's grosser in these movies than that, than the socket, that fucking pussing socket in that first movie. It's pretty fucking amazing. Gnarly. Best effect in movie history, probably. I would fuck it till it spurt that pus all over. Fucking use the pus as a uh, loop. Yeah. Really quick. What's the logic here? Why are they acting like they murdered Gus? Why are they like burying him in the fucking pet cemetery and don't want to tell anybody? Like, no, Gus attacked them and he was beating the shit out of me and he was going to probably kill me. And then the dog fucking attacked him. who probably yeah, had every right to do. Then they'll put Zowie to sleep. Fucking, we don't want the dog to be. Yeah, we, so. They don't want that. Fucking exactly. We just solved the whole... There's no plot holes in this movie, Aaron. <laughs> they don't want the dog to go. I mean, how could you... Dude, yeah, he fucking tore his neck up like a fucking pit bull, man. I mean... Fucking big chat shit. Expected nothing less. I want to get a pit bull and train it to fucking tear my throat out as I'm coming. Yeah. It just, uh, that's how, that's <laughs> it just catches them out. pushing him off a cliff. <sighs> you stupid bitch, you broke my neck. Mm. Oh, shit. Where did Todd go? I love the dead makeup on our boy Clancy. We're gonna smudge him with some uh, fucking uh, black makeup. Oh yeah. She's not your mom, Jeff. See, that would be cool if he came back and said, "She's not your mom, G uh, Drew, buddy." And he's like, "That's not my mom. I can fuck her." And then like it turned into a porn. So Drew is possessed by the same energy that made Gus want to tell Lewis Creed about the burial plot, even though he knew what the burial plot reaps because he has personal history with it. Is that what we're supposed to just like assume? Right. And fair enough. If it's got like some kind of power over someone like drew and he tells the story, I know it's like a local thing, but that sounds like some big news shit. Is that, did that really not like leave that town, that story and what happened? You know what I mean? You think that would be some pretty big news. Like, Did hey, zombies. Notice, Did you notice what our boy is for Halloween? Fucking, is, that, is he supposed to be Jason? He's got a hockey mask that's not a Jason mask, and he's got the fucking overalls. Oh, yeah. No, definitely. Bitch, drop your overalls, and we can fuck in the back of the horse stall. You're the ugliest bitch I know. <laughs> you know what's funny is we can make those references now, and Aaron will, will understand them. <laughs> yeah. Fucking, he's corrupted. Corrupt. This movie's fun, though. I love it. It makes me calm.
And and his dad's pretty understanding. Unlike Gus, he's like, my patience is wearing thin, but your mom just died. Don't let it happen again. Mm -hmm. Big Jed. He's a good he's a good dad. You know why he understands Eddie for a long and he has patience? Because he had a dick put in his ass when he was a kid. <laughs> He knows he's going to start doing meth. I figured you were going to attack him for being raped again, Aaron. You're fucking, nah. uh, you are doing mean things to this man. That, well, really that always creeped me the fuck out right there. Oh, I was no, thought, that, that, that was the scariest part. I had a little brother that was deathly scared of that scene. And it just comes out of nowhere. It just comes out of nowhere. <laughs> he doesn't even look like himself there. It looks like just a stranger. So it's even more freaking. He had a real Jason mask right there. That wasn't the one he was wearing, was it? Uh, I assumed it was. Yeah, but. it's just an actual hockey mask. Uh, I when I saw him in the back earlier, I thought he had like one of those goofy Walmart hockey masks mm -mm. that like it's that's a made to look like one. Jason. There's no Jason mask that really looks like a legit hockey mask. I mean, because they like clip on the that's head what and his stuff looks like. like. His looks like a more legit like old school one. But why? But why? Where do they get these Jason? Ma where do they get these hockey masks in Jason? Because that's not really how goalies have masks. They're like helmets. More or less. Apparently, it was mm, kind of that's how it used to be back in the day. Based on a real one, but they did change it slightly. Look at that fucking that throat torn open. He just see. Why didn't you tell me you needed a ride home? I could have picked you up. Fine. You think after all that shit that just happened, he'd literally just fucking kill him there? But like the fact that he doesn't makes it even fucking scarier because it's just like <laughs> it's oh, just he's like, biding his time, making him sweat. Yeah. <laughs> At what point is it's he It's as if he doesn't even know that he got attacked, though. So you're <laughs> acting like, okay, they're almost like animal instincts, going off instinct, they have no soul, but clearly they got brains because he's being straight-up sociopathic fucking with them. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Well, there, he, if you yeah. think about it logically enough, you're not going to be able to. It's, you're not going to be able to fucking like, make sense of it. This is like, corpse is coming back, fucking... How do we make it work? Uh, I think it works good. But like, yeah, this is a creepy. Fucking he comes back, he's a corpse, and he rapes the mom. And it's just Would, like. Wouldn't it have been funny and out of place, but like interesting if all of a sudden out of nowhere during this scene, it turns into like a 10 minute Tommy was so sex scene. Where it's like, why are we, why do we have this lot gratuitous sex scene? <laughs> fucking, she's like no, but she's like fucking doing it just like in that scene where it's like she just, they, they just basically just overdub the word no to make oh it's a, it's a it's a rape scene so we gotta fucking make sure she's saying no the whole time. And Drew walks in and frogs with him in the bed like Denny. <laughs> what yes. you doing here, Drew? Get out! Yes, I would come. I would literally drown in a pool of my own piss and shit and come. Did Todd have to take a shit, piss, and come or something? Where's he been? He's been gone a long time. He might have. He, maybe his uh, kid woke up. Probably. Mm. Look at that. He is fucking getting all rapey you now. That is not. That is not cool. <laughs> that's that's what my fucking cum horny face looks like. Fucking. <laughs> Imagine being that person that's just like, there's nothing hotter than a woman screaming no as you're trying to orgasm. That, that, did, I don't understand. Did that. Drew not hear that? She was screaming. Obviously, it's implied. I mean, maybe he like ended up holding her mouth or something. I don't know. Creepy. Maybe uh, Drew buddy was like, he was like, oh, my parents are doing it in the other room. <laughs> Fucking that. It's like we're a real room. family. It's like we're a real family. <laughs> dad's <laughs> dad's pounding mommy. Yeah, he's just letting the the rape happen. It's just like we're a real family. He's being nice to me. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> little prick. <laughs> this is he funny wants. though He's, he fed us pancakes it was great <laughs> yeah. I, was, I like him a lot now I was so remember nice. this yeah. you know, so you, you, but I, I hate that Todd missed that we were talking just before the scene when uh, sh his mom got raped we're like doesn't Drew hear it from down the hall but he doesn't give a shit because he hears daddy pounding mommy and we're like a real family and he loves it <laughs> eats it up dude he's <laughs> oh, probably used to it you know what's crazy God. is like the way like uh, abusive parents were. I could totally see like my friends that had those parents. I could totally see them uh, logicking it out like that. Like fucking, I heard them like he he got he hit mommy. And was, that was weird. But like fucking, he's being real nice to me. Fucking, that's uh, yeah, that's cr weird to think about. Creepy, very low T shit. Could they not afford those twins that were in every other movie in the early nineties, like uh, Kindergarten Cop? You know, the Olsen twins. 
No. It's... Who are those fuckers? Who are those fucking twins that were really famous? The Olsen twins or something? Yeah, the Olsen twins. Fucking uh, <laughs> Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen. Very, very easy to forget them. Is that uh, fucking Sam Rockwell right there? <laughs> Looks nothing like him, but okay. Uh, he has the same butt chin. <clears throat> same meth head physique. I love Sam Rockwell. I know, that's why I did that. That's why I made fun of him. He's not always in good movies, but he's one of those guys that makes not good movies tolerable. You were you were talking about uh, fucking being John Malkovich. Uh, no, I have seen, because I've seen uh, Confessions of a Dangerous Mind. I've seen that movie. That's the same writer. And that movie is not, it's like a five, it's, it's okay, you know? Fucking, uh, I don't, I, I don't think so. I don't think he made that movie. Yeah, he, he, he yes, he, well, he, he just wrote being John Malkovich, right? Uh, the guy, the, mm -hmm. he also wrote that too. I, dude, I looked it up on the fucking, the app. I was like, oh shit. Fucking, I never. I told Zach I ain't never. Yeah, he maybe, did. maybe that's one that's not considered a fucking movie. You did maybe that's one they had to compromise on or something. No, that's that's the one that George Clooney directed. It's about the Gong Show guy, right? That was working for the CIA. You don't remember that? Okay. No. Fucking, uh, we talked over the scene where fucking Zowie escaped from the prison. Fucking got out of that. Yeah, and, and it's just like, and if you see him, will you call me or whatever he says? Oh, yeah. A rabid dog, yeah. Out in the community. Jared yeah. Russians, he's a cool kid smoking outside school. What a fucking Chad. Probably still your girl. Fucking watch all the Halloween movies. Just binge them on the couch with your girl. What did he say? Did he say, How, how's it going, pussies? What did he say? <laughs> how's it going, losers? That's oh, losers, mean. losers. That's right. How's it going, losers? Like, how's it going, losers? <laughs> and he, just sets, <laughs> and he just sets there with the smoke. He sets, hey, there the, he sets there with the smoke blowing out his mouth, looking all hard. Like, fucking, how's it going, losers? With that slick back spiked fucking haircut. Dude, what kind of fucking, like, 13-year-old had a pea coat? That's some fancy shit. Because he, like, he has, like, the turtleneck and the pea coat. He's got the fucking Lost Boy outfit. <laughs> I like the scarf, though, man. I'd rock that scarf if I had it. Rock that scarf. Fucking Michael. High fashion chic on our boy River Michael. Man. Michael. Right. River, River Man's the only fucking homeless person I ever see wearing a scarf. Nickelodeon <laughs> chic, right? Fucking hell yeah. Okay. That was that was a reference to the the, inc the carnation or the fucking... Uh, the, the, Zach and Mary make a porno. Fucking incarnation, uh, fucking. Uh, y your name is based on the fucking uh, River Man That's from uh, Return of the Living Dead. I made a joke about the homeless guy from there. Amazing, fucking. We brought it back. You look so much better with blue eyes. Oh yeah, so fucked up. He's doing the Norman Bates shit. Mm. Some taxi driver. Taxi. <laughs> they killed her for the second time. What did I say? Turbo tax? Termin Turbo taxi. Terminax? Termin Terminax? <laughs> Is that really what uh, animals look like inside of them? Just like fucking uh, cotton uh, sleeve? Well, I mean, they <laughs> stuff them. They, they rip all the guts out of them, yeah. I can't tell if that's just an effect or a real... It's just outside skin, buddy. Okay, that might just be an effect. Cool. They might be. <laughs> I don't know why they wouldn't use real. I mean, what's, you know, why not? Maybe it's real. They probably would. Do people have. really stuff dogs? I I don't even know about dogs. Uh, probably. Yeah. Are we supposed to like? Is this whole thing supposed to insinuate that he's crazy? I don't understand because he seems sane enough, even though he's kind of that guy where it's like, get out while you still can. But he's not. He doesn't seem like he's got a screw loose. But then, like the fucking bird scares him, and he's like laughing maniacally. <laughs> like, what the fuck? I don't even remember yeah. what they're setting up here. Like, what is like, he? What? Why are you laughing at me? Oh, sorry. Why is he He's in dead. this movie? I don't even remember him. He to give the exposition, right? There's yeah, no yeah. blood condition. The mm -hmm. dog isn't sick. It's dead or whatever. Oh yeah. Yeah, and he's like, then he talks about Lewis Creed, right? Same thing with Lewis Creed's cat, and you know, and he's, so was his wife. The night she was killed for the second time. He's literally the Candyman in the Final Destination series. He's just there to fucking expedition. Like, say, See? oh, it's death. He's coming to return. He's going to take you all off one by one. Look at Yeah, he's that guy that's warning him, like, get out, get out. The crazy Ralph character. <laughs> <laughs> Is that supposed to be church? Is that what that's supposed to insinuate? 
Because he's just no. talking about church. Yeah, and, it could. It, I never noticed that. Maybe it was. Well, it doesn't look like church was gray. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, but I, I don't know. It would have been a nice nod if he See, yeah, if he. This this song this song choice and this like this image of all the rabbits is like there's something like yeah fucking dark and uh, yeah like this is where I kind of come with the dark Jesus shit. Jesus Christ! Is just like is this kind of a weird tone? Yeah, but, like is this the we pretend that we did same band? Mm-hmm. Jesus Christ! I have always wanted Nature rabbits. I've always wanted to try rabbit though. Like that. Gross. I've always wanted to try it. Fucking uh, I don't want to fucking break the necks. It has me. I should try it. Weird weird people we are. Fucking uh, we should I, I I wouldn't mind trying his mom. I always <laughs> wanted to eat eat like this at the table. Oh yeah. yeah. With my family. He's disgusting. <laughs> I love it, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it, Gus. <laughs> And she still looks like she was raped. Like, like she just got done being raped. Like her yeah. clothes are a mess. <laughs> That's not funny. You know what I mean? Why am I laughing? I, uh, sometimes I like to pause it on uh, his sure face. Lima beans. Right here, right here, where he opens his mouth. Sometimes oh, like, yeah. I used to like to pause it and just fucking like do a big cum on the TV screen and pretend like he was just taking my nut, snowballing it. <laughs> well, he, he didn't he win best supporting actor for the Fangoria Awards or something. Oh, the Fango! He really does. He's, it's a great performance. Yeah. It's a fun performance. But I love, I love actors like this that choose scenery. You know what I mean? It's great. Oh, it, the movie would be completely different without him. It would suck without him. And then he just gets a. <laughs> and it fits because you could take these other movies like we were talking about in our private chats and shit. We were talking about like the Mario Brothers movie. We were talking about Street Fighter, and you have these guys, Dennis Hopper and Raul Julia, that kind of save the movie because they're. Just giving it their all, chewing the fucking scenery, uh, compensating for everybody else's shitty performance. Uh, and they're over the top. But Gus, it's not even overacting because he was normal. It's like, well, now when I'm a zombie, I'm going to go fucking hate nuts. It fits. Have you guys ever had those friends that had like the, the dad like this where it's like fucking maybe like he'd always like get super mad and you'd get really intimidated like at eating at lunch and shit like fucking like. You were like walking on eggshells, thinking that he could do sh- something to you, and like every once in a while, he would be, like get super fucking mad and just like go home as we're done eating, and it was just like fucking yeah, that's that's kind of what he does to our boy here, and then he fucking kills the mom and the son whenever he leaves. Very. I mean, I was about to say in the middle of that. Do you know who you're talking to? That was my dad every fucking day walking on eggshells, like looking. Some, any any day, I felt like he was gonna just go fucking grab a fucking shotgun and just. <laughs> Take wow. take it all into his own hands. Look Just at this. wall style, or oh yeah, dude, absolutely. <laughs> like what? What is this? What's that on dude, the Simpsons? This dream I, sequence is phenomenal. Oh, it's so great. They should make a wall pedal called the Crispin Wall. Oh, that'd be great, dude. And it, but the tone, <laughs> they, they could write on the description. The tone fucking chokes your child with its fucking amazing. Uh, oh no, no, no! Um, it's like those DOD pedals, Todd, where they like have clever names for the mid and gain. So oh god, we talked. Yeah, there's choke, extra heavy. There's choke. There's strangle. Yeah, <laughs> there's, there's fucking uh, yeah. rage. The roid so rage. So wrong. So wrong. So there's wrong. the uh, asphyxiation. You gotta myrtleize it, man. Look at this. This is sexy shit. This is like the Top Gun sex scene. Even better. Fucking just like, fuck me. Fuck me. I mean, it's totally not the actress's tits. Too bad. If you looked no, up... No, it's always. Yeah. See, if you looked up... See, he just nuts even he's faster. Like, <laughs> Where were oh, we? He's like, oh, shit. Got- <laughs> this should have been an animality. Somebody's animality. He's just like, oh, I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh. Oh yeah, he was he was into it oh, like in the dream. Dog. <laughs> I didn't I didn't know Zowie a girl or a boy. I'm pretty sure it's a boy. What if? Oh jeez, that's even worse. I'm just kidding. Dudes, what if this is what Whitney Dude. Wisconsin saw and she was like, "Fucking, I should try that." Oh yeah. See, look, just like Gordon, the dog's jumping out of fucking windows. But Gordon did it for no reason. <laughs> fucking dog, shit on my dick again, and I'll, t- I'll fucking shoot your ass. Amazing. Stone I would come. Are you? Make me come like that again, I swear to God. <laughs> Surprised he didn't turn Anthony Edwards, did. Turn him oh, into fuck. a fucking zombie. 
Yeah, he didn't get uh, killed. Zowie's a pussy, man. Zowie, why did he run away? He could have taken him. Zowie's a Stacy. Fucking Anthony Edwards, isn't he that weird guy that used to fucking like, I can speak to the dead. You over what? there in the corner, you're, uh, I'm getting uh, uh, Denise. I'm getting a Denise. Oh, John gotta... Edwards. <laughs> Denise is my mom's name. Denise is my mom's name. Hey, well, Denise is my mom's name. Keep going. You're getting it. Yes, Denise, that's my mom. Keep going, so John on Edwards. Room. So yeah. on the side of the room. Somewhere. I'm on this side of the room. And then, like, later on, we found out, oh, he has his, like, uh, studio bugged <laughs> with the uh, audio equipment. Oh, did the, they really? So, like, they can hear whatever he's talking about before the breaks and shit like that? Yeah. Like, you got a couple there that's doing the taping, and they're like, God, I hope the kids are home. Oh, John's old enough to watch him. I hear, yeah, and he mm-hmm. goes off all that bullshit. Dude, dude. Was <laughs> they, a- then, then they, don't they say, like, uh. Uh, what else do they say? Oh, I can sense a very powerful death in your family. Oh, yeah, gram- Grandma died 12 years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it's like vague stuff that everybody can kind of watch on. Well, them. and yeah, they just do that <laughs> shit where they, where they kind of read lips and they kind of like steer them in a direction. Like I'm getting, I'm getting somebody who lost somebody, somebody yeah. recently. Anybody lost somebody over here? It's like, well, I just lost my brother. Oh, great. Right. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing B, B. Well, his name was Pat. P. That's what I meant. P. <laughs> and Pat was, Pat was sick, right? You know, it's like there's a good chance mm-hmm. Pat died. Yeah, of I hear you. Yeah, I hear you. Who is like it? no, Pat, Pat, uh, Pat got smashed in a car wreck. That's what I meant. We're just riffing. Where yeah, you know, there isn't someone that does that. I thought he just named someone that does that. Oh yeah, John Edwards. This the TV side. Oh, John Edwards. John yeah, Edwards. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. And there was also never the heard of John Edwards. He was fucking huge. There was the less popular guy, James Van Prague. You remember him? I don't know. And he kind he kind of looked like a a gay version of the pillow my pillow guy. Fucking so just the my pillow guy. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I used to watch him. What's uh, his name, Aaron? What, John Edwards and James Van Prague? James Van Okay, let me, let me check him out. I used to watch him late at night, dude. I, I'd, I'd watch him on UPN when we didn't have cable. I'd come home from work and I'd just, <laughs> James Van Prague was always on. <laughs> <laughs> that does look like the My Pillow guy, too. <laughs> but, he, but he talks like this. I, I sent some pain in your family. Chad. Oh, man. Look at that. Oh, I thought, I uh, for some reason, I was thinking that was his dirt bike. Oh, he doesn't have a dirt bike. He has one of those motorized bicycles fucking the, that I see people riding around on now. Like a motorcycle, dude. I used to have a right motorcycle. There, right there. Oh, I'm going to stick your head through that. You can visit go right your, your brain. You can visit your mom. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's messed up, dude. I mean, that's a bully. How about you go visit his mom? Go. I love how we react. I love how he reacts to Gus, like, basically yeah. seeing him getting ready to do that. Like, what the fuck, man? He almost gave me a heart attack. I said go home. Fucking amazing. Nice GT, by the way. He looks like shit. I mean, like, why the... So many questions we raised. Like, why... You know, nice... Fucking, he's just like, nice bike, though. Fucking, what is that, a Huffy? That's a GT. <laughs> yeah. Get home. It's fucking mongoose, bro. Get home, son. Yeah, why didn't you take the dirt bike instead? He kind of figured the guest was going to kill him. I love it. I need your scarf and your fucking shoes. Dude, I love this, dude. That's so great. You can't lay a finger on me. Oh, no. oh whoa. <laughs> <laughs> See, whenever communism wins, I'm going to like allow shit like that. As long as the kid was a bully, you're allowed to fucking beat the shit out of your son's bully. That's what I'm saying. He's not a mindless demon or whatever, or a mindless zombie. He's got a personality. I'm just fucking with you while he's still doing it. Boom. I'm, st- I'm just, just fucking, fucking with you. I love this. Right in his face. <laughs> I, I love this though. Because it's funny because it almost he reacts as if he didn't mean to do it. Isn't that weird? Right. It's so funny. Yeah, yeah. Like he was really trying to. F- well, he didn't because he got stuck in there. Whoops. Yeah. <laughs> See, my guess is yeah. I just think he, it probably happened a little earlier than he wanted it to. I think he just wanted uh, to play with his food a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I'm with Aaron on that. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking big jazz. I mean, he wasn't gonna let him go. I That's love a it. Nice scarf, Drew, buddy. So if you have to bury your own, why did he bury fucking Clyde? I don't understand. I don't know, but why was Drew, buddy, watching the whole time? Like, I'd be hiding, dude, if I saw him trying to kill. Him. <laughs> hey, 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 do what was he doing there? For one, and yeah. Well, I guess maybe going home from school. Maybe he was behind you. I don't know, but yeah. Why would he? Why would you do that? 
Why would you watch? Okay, do you think if uh, he didn't notice Drew had seen him, he would it would have been he could have just remained a happy family? What if Drew just <laughs> no, saw no, no. him like? <laughs> It makes you sick knowing how close he was to a different outcome because if he did like Todd said, if you witnessed it and then ran away, he could have pretended like he didn't know and told his mom, but hey, we got a fucking skaboot. This guy fucking killed Clive, man. If you don't believe me, they're going to find his body tomorrow. Or they're not because he'll bury him in the pet cemetery. If that's the thing that makes him like, oh, that's a little weird. Not the fact that he's a corpse. Fucking like, yeah, but like he's nice now that he's a corpse, but it's like fucking I saw the corpse kill somebody. We should leave. Fucking it, yeah. Give me the gun. See, I like <laughs> to think that if if he just uh, never saw that, uh, he could they could just still be living happily ever after. This is basically a uh, stepfather type of situation. It's like, oh, you found out my secret. Fucking well, now I gotta kill you. He he dresses like a sixty year old man, dude. Drew, buddy. Oh, I know. <laughs> now he dresses like fucking like Bob Vila or something. You know, like a guy on a fucking fishing boat. Uh, uh, fucking, uh, Al Borland, he dresses like Al Borland, fucking Al Borland. Yeah, Borland. yeah exactly. Uh, like John Candy. This is uh, that <laughs> guy on uh, that guy on YouTube started going on a cad or whatever before he got big or something. I think. If you and were like looks, the f fat kid, why would you want to wear puffier clothes? That big puffy fucking. Why head. not? You gotta stick out. Yeah. See, look, look, look. This goes against what you just said, Matt. Because now Zowie's attacking him. Right. It is weird how Zowie just defects. He doesn't yeah, touch. Now it just doesn't, yeah. Now well, he's following Gus's I orders. I think it's, yeah, I think Gus kind of like, uh, well, no, because, yeah, once there's a dead person, I guess there's like telekinesis shit in it. Like, I don't know. Some we'll just fill it in as we go. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I assume that's the case. Just like Church in the first one was with the, the baby the whole time, you know? Yeah, no, that's true. And you're right. Because doesn't Church like lunge it or uh, yeah, Lewis or Church something? Yeah, Church goes after yeah. him, yep. So once another dead comes, it's just like... I'm so sick of the coming through the door gag in horror fl flicks. Still do there, people are still doing that shit. So overplayed. I love that dude. Just jumps on the fucking car like that. It's hammer time. <laughs> Daddy's not dead! See, this 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 scared the shit out of me as a kid. Fucking it's crazy. Oh, yeah. It's creepy. Because yeah. this, this is almost like real life. This could have, like, fucking... The dad, like, he doesn't have to be a corpse, but it's just like fucking like, oh, the parents are running away. Fucking, he's on the prowl. He's going to fucking kill his family. Fucking very, he's, he's, he is Chris Benoit. Why didn't they just go to like Walmart or something? I wonder if uh, Terry O'Quinn felt upstaged when he saw this performance, you know? That's why he was so embarrassed by it. He, he doesn't even acknowledge he was in it. He's like, I was on Lost and I didn't do anything else. I don't know what you're talking about. Stepfather, what? Oh really? He, he apparently he disowns that movie or what? He doesn't come back he, and talk about he it. He disowns yeah. it enough to where he did a sequel. I mean, yeah. like, I mean that was like two years later. Like fucking, he disowned it later on in his career. But this still, is creepy here, dude. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> he looked like Brendan Fraser there. <laughs> he wants to kill us, <laughs> dude. I yeah, I, this scene's really scary. Just the idea of being in like a high speed chase like this with a maniac, or it's like you can't really stop. And You're staying on the road either way. Yeah, it's like she needs to be fucking offensive. Why is she not going on the offense here? Where did Matt go? Matt just see, fucking left. See, look at this. This is fucking like savage I won't shit. Die in the USA. When I was a kid, I always thought that the, that Marilyn Manson song that's in a Pet Cemetery too. Like for some reason, I thought this was a Marilyn. Yeah, Manson you thought song. you thought it was like that. It it is kind of yeah like that. Like I, I feel it. But I just why is she? Yeah, why turn? Why didn't she? Oh, yeah, I don't know. She should have just turned the fucking wheel. She would have missed the truck. Yeah, she, she should have. She should have missed the truck, and that would have given her an, uh, a chance to evade Gus because that truck. Yeah, she'd be in the ditch, but then she'd get out and run. I mean, I don't think that would have. Yeah, but yeah, because he can't follow her in the woods of the car, but he, they would get her on foot. I like how they just showed the body barks hanging out. How they didn't actually show them. Oh yeah, just the, and there's like the blood running down the leg coming out of the potatoes. Yeah. Yeah. See? Yeah, that's cool. That's a cool poster. A postcard. Yeah. You know what, too, is... Uh, uh, I, I remember hearing at some point that if you put a bunch of soap in a fucking sock and smack somebody with it, it won't leave bruises. What if that's, that's the same way with a potato? That's what they do in prison, man. That's what they do in, I, like... I don't know why. Like, what, what do you care if, if you leave bruises? It's like fucking, like... Yeah, in I, prison, don't, I don't get it. Yeah. 
<sighs> you ever see that movie Bad Boys about the uh, juvenile correctional? Like with uh, Sean Penn and Isai Morales? Oh, it's a great movie. Yeah, yeah. In that one, you know, they have like access to like soda machines and shit. And, and what's his face? Sean Penn fills his pillowcase up with soda cans and he beats the shit out of some. It's pretty cool. Full with a pop soda cans, not not empty, empty not like a homeless that, guy. That, that would, would be hilarious. That, that would, would do be anything. Fucking funny. <laughs> Look at her nose pants. Yeah, very Stacy. That, that's the type of woman I'm gonna marry, back. That's the type of woman I'm gonna. Look at the fucking, very, uh, <laughs> very attractive. I'll give you that. Absolutely. She, she's got like an old school, like old fashioned uh, look about her. Southern too. Belle. Yeah. Those pants are fucking uh, Stacy. She filling out the mom jeans. Mom jeans are back, which just blows my mind. It you is know? really look at, weird. Look at that look picture. At that. Where'd they get that shot of Clive looking like menacing? Looking like fucking Robert Smith from The Cure. Hey. Circus. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <Dude. Yeah. laughs> Amazing. Yeah, no, mom jeans are back. It blows me away. It's really weird to see. A fucking a big ass. Big uh, Stacy ass. Hey, can you add me back? Hello. Yeah. I what? Kicked. I got kicked from the. the He's not on the video. In. His video disappeared. There you go. Mac a Max. <laughs> Big Chad Dick. Oh Dude, yeah, he was messaging. Go ahead. This is where it all fucking. And he just gets possessed all of a sudden. It's really weird. Like it's the weirdest shift Fuck. ever. Like, all of a sudden, he's like some crazy Chucky kid, and it's not really explained, because the last time we saw him is when, go home, Jack, you know, when, it, when he's Clive's getting it from fucking Gus, and he runs away, he's scared, but now he's all possessed. It literally, like, that's the one conclusion he shouldn't jump to, is like, I should put my mom in the pet cemetery now. Like, fucking, it, it almost reeks like they fucking had a different ending, but, the, like, a test audience didn't like it, so they just reshot the whole third act. That's a great. That's a great screenshot there, Mac. Look, look at look at him. In. Yeah, he's like frozen. It's funny. He keeps getting oh, lost. Yeah. Look at this. Why? Look at Furlong's all crazy now. What happened? Gus. Gus is controlling. I don't know. He's not controlling him. But the last time we saw him is when he had Gus in front of Clive, and he ran away, and that was it. And just, and he saw that Gus is a total fucking maniac. I mean, he didn't see them kill Clive, but that made him want to dig up his mom. And then Gus is going to approach him out of nowhere, right? And, like, what? give him the shovel and fucking take him under his wing and stuff. Look at him. Look at him. Cradling, smiling like he's insane. <laughs> yeah, I, I wonder how that happened. Is there, like, an, there isn't even an extended cut of this where they actually... It kind of feels like there's a scene missing. Where yeah, he, yeah. like, where he has an encounter with Gus in between or something. You know what I mean? New I told you. I told you they, they had a completely different ending. They didn't like it, so they just reached out the whole third act. I figured it out. Because the next time we see him, he's just fucking hanging with Gus, like under his wing. Like, oh, okay. Makes no sense. But I guess, oh, he saved me. That's probably it. It's really flimsy, but it's like fucking. He, he, he killed a kid, but he saved me. Oh, that is uh, interesting. Why? That is really interesting. Why did he kill? He saved him. He should just be killing everybody. Fucking well, Gus. As I go home. Gus is working with Big Cum, and he's uh, he like basically he's got his third eye squeegee. He's like, I know if I help him, he'll bring his mom back, and I always wanted to fuck her. Why'd you take up my wife? No, but listen, but at what point did him and Edward Furlong get together? Because it seems like they're like working together at this point. Because the you know it's, it's there's just this whole plan. He dug up his wife, and we're gonna see him at the burial ground, hand Jeff the shovel. It sounds like at some point they linked together, and and I still feel like we're missing a scene. It's really weird. I remember they didn't they bury somebody that wasn't their own. Was was that Clyde or I they bury? I just said that. I literally just said I thought you had to bury your own. That's what he says, and he buried oh. Clive. Like Sorry. that's I was he's looking not at your, the comments. Sorry, but I said that a few min minutes ago. I'm like, yeah, it's true. He's the one that says you got to bury your own. It's the way the Indians did it or whatever. But he bury buried Clive. Own his, he he killed him, so it's his own. Fucking, uh, he took his life. I guess. Like, wouldn't that be fucked up if that was the rules and they had to go to Clive's mom's house and be like, hey, we kind of need you for this. You come bury your son we killed. Yeah, that doesn't, like, it doesn't fit that Clive is brought back, but he's memorable when he comes back and the, the effect is cool. Oh, absolutely. Look, look at him. He's got this funeral procession going on, walking slowly through the woods with his fucking suit and shit. 
It's really weird. And look, and Gus is there. See, he just met him there. Yep. They had to have talked at some point. You know what I mean? Yep. And, unless, and he's just pointing. <laughs> sure. yeah. yeah, this was like all a plan that we missed. Unless Mac was here, he'd be like, well, they're psychically linked. Like, okay, great. We'll just go with that. <laughs> that is a bad looking set, though. I mean, it's not very but, good. But... but even then, like, that logic's flawed because Edward Furlong isn't dead. He's not one of the zombies to be, like, psychically linked. Basically, so fucking uh, Clancy Brown needed Edward Furlong to get the body because he needed her him to bury it because, like, oh, bury your own. Fucking add, him so back, he, add Mac back, I, I guess, if you can. Or I don't know if, well, I know that I might be. I see him. My bad. He said his there. modem keeps restarting. Sorry, sorry to interrupt you. Fucking, uh, yeah, I forgot what I was saying. But, uh, fucking, yeah, you got the, he got the body here, fucking, they're putting it. See, isn't it good that, like, did they have to fly back to, like, Hollywood or wherever she was buried? And, like, how'd they get, Well, did our boy Clancy Brown have to get a plane ticket? Did he have to get I don't know, but this is a really weird forward. bonding moment where Clancy Brown's being really nice. Yeah, I, I, t I buy that, that he's, like, manipulating him, right? Yeah. He's being comforting and <laughs> that smile just kills me, man. I'm here. Oh, Max back. That furlong. Yeah. Anyway, so, so he is. Ahead. He's he's manipulated fucking the, our boy to uh, get the body and bury it. Fucking that's his uh, ultimate motivation. Motivation. This is motivation. That really is. I don't know if. <sighs> I mean, maybe it's. I'll go as far as saying it's kind of a plot hole, but at at best, it is flimsy. Like it's what? a plot hole so fucking thick you could f stick your dick in it and just fuck till it comes. It's really weird. <laughs> it is a plot hole, but I I really don't give a fuck. It's so but, but it is weird. Like yeah, I would ask Mary Lambert that. Like, so are they just like, are we just gonna go with the Mac it's thing and like, their telekinesis? I didn't fucking linked. write this. Why are you asking me? Oh, but she's gonna know the script though. I just yeah. directed it. I always thought that was stupid. Oh, I just did like I was told. <laughs> and you, you nerds, I, come this in is, buy all the shit. <laughs> this is pretty. This is pretty creepy too. Like when she walks in and you know she and sees all the the drapery and shit, like uh, sheer curtains, like waving around in the wind. That was another slow motion shot, by the way. There's a lot yeah. of them in this movie. She looks so fucking Stacy in those jeans. <laughs> Aren't you kind of glad they didn't bring back Drew Buddy and uh, Drew Buddy's mom? Yeah, that would have been, been kind of really too cheesy, dude. If they brought well, like I could, you could see that happening where they all come back at the end. There's Drew, yeah, just nah, because you would feel less bad for him. Yeah, it's like, oh, well, now I've seen him as an evil fuck. I, nah, I don't give a shit. Just like with Gage, it's like, well, kill that little fucking piece of shit. Fuck <laughs> Gage. Gage oh, came down from the attic and he was a fucking Muppet. Ah, yeah. look, look like a dead alive baby just jumping down. His yeah, fucking forward. kill that. That's scary shit. On kids that look like dogs. I, lo I love pausing it, the fr freeze framing it when he's like f flying through the air. It looks fucking weird. <laughs> fucking poor Zowie. I don't care if the dog is a zombie biting the shit out. You don't fucking you don't hurt a doggy. He, I wonder he, if they really shot a dog in on set. Oh come on, <laughs> oh, stupid questions, dude. <laughs> fucking, that's the chattest question we've ever asked on the show. You know who would hate Gus's character, Joe Bob. Because he always like, uh, you know, that's what he hates about Michael Myers. And why does he keep killing the dogs? Because he kind of has that whole thing. <laughs> like, that's a no-no. Look at that. They turned the fucking crucifix upside down. That's so metal. I I know. That's a bit that. I that, never that, noticed that. Oh, you've never noticed that? No. To me, that's a weird little cartoonish touch. Like, all right. <laughs> like, that makes it a little comic booky. Genius. This is a cool fucking part here, though. Making his rabbits. Yeah. Did you see the Joe Bob uh, Joker face paint? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that, the Halloween Hoot Nannies tonight. So I'll watch it this weekend. I've been, I finally caught up with just about every single episode I've been oh, watching before tomorrow. I want the fuck. <laughs> what are you doing here? Yeah. What is he doing? Like, doesn't he have some like demon killing, murdering to do? Why is he just hanging? That? Why is he just having a night? He's having a night home chilling. That'd be funny if his ultimate plan was just he was going to sew all the rabbit skins together and make a big furry costume, and he just wanted the mom there as his date. Or well, he could fuck Zowie. Exactly. So, so do you have to dismember these, or how do you kill them? <clears throat> uh, uh, he, well, Lewis Creed just gives him a sedative. Very Chad. 
fucking uh that's true yeah. <laughs> so these yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have they don't really define the uh, rules for these zombies yeah what did lewis creed give gage i don't know what, what was that yeah, kind of stuff like it was uh the stuff that um i don't know some if it was poison the, that they fucking like, keep in his briefcase like just like willy-nilly something to I put don't know. animals to sleep with or some shit well, he was a real doctor, not like a vet. I know, that's why I was like, wait, never mind. No pain, he, uh, no pain. D didn't he call it like horse tranquilizer or something? Oh, uh, maybe. maybe. Maybe that's like something they usually and maybe that w Maybe that would kill a kid. If you put enough, yeah, it'll you can kill anybody, yeah. I like the way I like the way Gus gets killed, it's cool. It's oh, awesome. Yeah. This, this whole last act of the movie is great, I think. It's a lot of fun. Oh, look. Oh. look at him calmed. <laughs> <laughs> what if? Oh. See what? What if it like shot through the part of his brain that controls the orgasm, and he just calmed? He shits his pants like that whole time, uh, or something. Oh yeah, fucking, it just goes hate wire, and he just starts big coming all over the place. Fucking, he's just covered in cum through the rest of the movie. It's like that scene from uh, Freddy Got Fingered, where he just jacks off the elephant on his dad. Okay. <laughs> See, what if the what if this movie basically had the Freddy Got Fingered ending? All of a sudden, he comes outside and he's in like uh, fucking uh, the Middle East, and it zooms out, and he's on like a stick, and it's like, oh, I, I took you to the Middle East, and it's his son. He's like, fucking, why did you take me to the Middle East? <laughs> well, what, when uh, That's when such Drew's, a stupid ending. <laughs> when Jeff's dad, when Jeff's dad just entered the house and. Instead of coming up on Gus and some like deer hunter shit, what if he was doing the you know, Jeff? Would you like some sausage or whatever? Mm. <laughs> Big cum. I'm gonna fucking eat uh, Ben and Jerry's real quick. Real quick. You're just gonna eat it real quick while you're at the end of the movie. Makes sense. This is a bit. Is he gonna grab? It's a bit. Did you really think you could be like me? No way. He's that hungry. We could wait five minutes and or he had to go get us. <laughs> that part looked so goofy. Yeah, the mirror stuff look weird. Well, he's and just like sitting there. What yeah, the he's fuck? just he's total total fucking crazy now. You're not my mom. He's like, <laughs> "Mommy's home." <laughs> fucking God. amazing. That that's so weird, Zach. Like the movie's got 5 minutes left. You just couldn't take it. That you couldn't you had to go just get a big spoonful of ice cream. It's so weird. I can't believe this guy is that fucking much <laughs> of a dork. <laughs> What? <laughs> you didn't pick up on what the fucking joke is with when we say we're gonna go eat some fucking Ben and Jerry. I don't get it. I, is this what I, why, why should I get that? <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't even think. I thought he was knew what you were talking about. Why? I. Why would I get it? I, I, we're not gonna. We're not gonna explain it on the show. That's the whole point of something being a joke. Did you take like a quickest shit ever? Did you? Did you? So this, smoke a this blunt? movie's really good. This movie's really good. Fucking. Uh, we'll we'll tell you after the show's over. <laughs> Oh my god! What so what? Uh, he can wait five. He said so he couldn't wait five minutes to go get a spoonful of Ben and Jerry's. <laughs> he just had to. He just has a. He just had to have that shit now. I thought he knew what we were talking no. about. So I didn't think he was playing. Now you come back and he thinks he really went and got a bite of ice cream. <laughs> I was listening the whole time. He, he really couldn't wait like five minutes. He was. He was that hungry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like what? I mean, inner fat kid coming out. I guess I don't know. It's really weird. That's pretty oh, sweet yeah. special effect. Here's a hint. Yeah. Here's a hint. <laughs> you can't do that on camera? Is there something that says you can't? Fucking monetization and shit, probably. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Genius. Uh, we can make it work this time. They did a great job on her. As far as her... Uh, I don't know why he doesn't like let him let her talk him into this three-way, this incestuous three-way that they're one With him and for. Jeff? For Pornhub, yeah, like this shit oh, sells really well. He would, geez. he would get a lot of money, like the mommy milkies, the fucking son, stepson, whatever, and then oh. the dad, the cuck porn, in the the mommy porn. It's all in one. Fucking pegging Jeff, dude. Fucking gross. He would be making <laughs> so much fucking money. Ah, <laughs> uh, I love you more. Oh, he would be like doing the cam girl shit, like fucking just laying in his bed, like. Oh, oh here it is. 
doing this shit. <laughs> Daddy, <laughs> Daddy and I have to talk. Dad, your father and I need to talk. It's Mother's funny. gonna get some of that father's milk. And he's giving this look like, oh, <laughs> look, no, he's, he's giving You're this in look trouble. like, yeah, oh, Daddy's in trouble. Naughty, father's naughty. milk all over me, Jeff. <laughs> Daddy's gonna get it now. <laughs> I lo- here it is. I love you more. I love it. Look at it. Slow down. Five frames per second. Oh. I love you more. <laughs> and I love it because it's like the it's not even in sync with his lips. It's great. She looks fucking hot. <laughs> in she looks scene. like she's about to bathe in father's milk. Look at that. I would. F- you just see that come on me fucking mommy face and then you open the door and just that ugly fuck. But <laughs> what I don't creepy. understand is. Why did they break the facade? They could have just kept this going because they had Jeff fucking... Why, why does it have to be all sadistic? Why do they have to, like, trick him by having him at the door and it kind of breaks this weird spell over him? Because it does. I think they just wanted to end the movie. They didn't know how to end it. And why is... And why is... It's like his whole sole purpose of manipulating him was to bring back his mom. And why is she acting like she's this big ringleader? She's like the what master if- demon. What if this is like basically when they come back from the dead, they're part of Big Come, and she's just the Big Come leader. Like basically, it was all conspiring shit. They conspired. Fucking Jeff and fucking Clancy Brown conspired. It was like fucking. It's Big Come shit all up in our uh, brain f- uh, pussies. We had another uh, slow mo shot when she's knocking all the shit off the table. He looks creepy. Fucking. I know. It looks fucking really whack. It's cool. I'm gonna like light it. this place on fire. Exactly. She wants to get thick, as we pointed, we coined in our last episode. That's basically in movies. Whenever they all of a sudden they catch on fire, they look thicker. So that's like a euphemism for like, "Hey, let's get thick. Let's go hang out at my house and set ourselves on fire and walk around slow, like they do in the movies." What or like? <laughs> this is a cool fucking death, though. Yeah, it is. Does it? it yeah. Why is she acting? She's very human. She like jumped up on look, the bed or whatever. eat it. He's literally gonna. Pull a fucking Billy Madison. He's gonna. He took off his skate and he's trying to stab somebody with it. This is a cool effect too. Eat that out. Did he already say here it fucking comes? That looked like a just like they took a, a latex mask and just shook it. Fucking yeah. That's like that's what happens if you take uh one of those uh Michael Myers masks and just. <laughs> I love when that decapitated body falls. No, I was gonna say not just when uh they burn bodies they look Coasty. thick. Like Michael Myers in Halloween 4 when he's getting shot down that well. He's like all fat. He turns really. He's uh-huh. taking all the shots. But even that whole movie, why is his costume padded? Because his shoulders look all fucking weird throughout the whole movie. Yeah, they put like shoulder pads on him and shit. He looks fucking oblong and weird and he's not even doing anything that requires... I don't understand why he looks like that. This is big cum shit. Look at that. <laughs> I'm melting. I don't want to fuck you with those scars on your face. You're not big mommy thick booty hot anymore. I mean, all they had to do was let him leave the room so her and father could have a talk, and then they could kill the father, and then Jeff would be easy to fucking kill. Like, why they gotta like have so much fun doing it? Just get the job yeah, done. Yeah, no, I, I understand where coming from there. They were getting their rocks off being sadistic, and it cost them the fucking game. See this this thing right here where it's like why is the, she why is she not stopping him why is she just standing there no Jeff this weird no. thing where it's kind of like uh, <laughs> it's kind of like the fucking like leaving the Wizard of Oz kind of like all you gotta do is walk out the door and it's all over like you could just stop him like you could run after him and tackle him pretty yeah, easily are, too are you are you not a fucking demon or one of these things I mean yeah that doesn't make sense G- Gus wouldn't be letting this happen I guess it, it's probably done to be like a symbol like symbolic like he's turning he's He's able to move on or something. That's what it seems. That's seemed. fucking cheesy. Fucking, it's Stay genius. Is this what it takes to fucking mourn and cope with and accept exactly. loss? You have to like fucking. bury fucking people in a pet cemetery and have them kill everybody. Exactly. I like this effect. Not really. Stay oh, special effects me. are cool, dude. Yeah, they're great. <laughs> and now she way. needs. Yeah, this is interesting. But, but now she needs to turn into that weird little demon and fly away like a Hellraiser and have a scratch in our heads. I almost forgot. I I I, I kind of she stood forget up that, that whole she time. Turn, <laughs> she turns into a skeleton there. Fucking! I just remember it like it shows her burning, fades out, and then the weird ass fucking cr- creepy, depressing ending where they drive off and it shows like the happy faces of all the people that just died. And this one. 
relatively has a happier ending than the first one. The first one's really hopeless. It just leaves you with a sense of hopelessness. You know, everybody dies, and uh, they at least get away. The two people that were entering the town get to leave the town. Exactly. But yeah, there's just something about... It, it's really the Drew and the mom just being right next to each other, smiling. I never knew anybody had died before, and he's like chuckling. Yeah. yeah. Sad. It is. And it's ironic, because, you know, he now he knows himself who died before. Exactly. This is such a weird ending. But I guess you get over it. <laughs> I mean, eventually. So <laughs> I love it. That's great, dude. And it's going to end. This the, does this one end with the. Da, 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 yeah. It, wh so looking, here's a story. Li literally, <laughs> yeah. like visually, it looks like the love boat ending. But it like, for some reason, it always just hit me. Like when you see the mom and kid. Yeah. Look at him. He's like laughing. Like, oh, this is. That's, that's what makes it so fucking dark and creepy. Like, uh, of an ending and it's movie. also the particular scene they took it from because it's the scene where he was believing Gus was going to be his dad and he yeah. liked him <laughs> that, that, you're 100% accurate on that it's, it's, it's the scene <laughs> yeah. they took it from it's like oh no it, it hurts more man the one time he was happy in life exactly <laughs> <laughs> Hap just so happened to be in this 90 minutes that we just experienced he, yeah he got an extra helping of mashed potatoes and Gus was nice to him <laughs> an extra helping of mashed potatoes he didn't call me a fat ass he was like we were a family. <laughs> I love this song. Fucking, I, I just whoa to whoa. This is the better song. The fucking, the actual Pet Cemetery song. I, whatever. Like at best, I'd say it's like a five out of ten. This song is fucking memorable, and fucking the, the lyrics are haunting and creepy. And I like to play it on the acoustic guitar and be a big Chad. And the, all the big Stacys want to see my penis. And then they see it and it's like fucking, it's the, the size of a tube of lipstick. But then I'm like, well, hold on a second. And fucking, I, I shake it around a little bit. And it's a little bigger. Sounds about right. I want to remember this. Blu-ray has a uh, interview with Clancy Brown that I thought was pretty cool. Was that this, this movie? Probably. I mean, he's in this movie. I know. I just, I saw it a couple years ago, and I thought it was pretty pretty solid. It really doesn't say on the back. I the Blu-ray's got new 4K scan of the original camera negative, audio commentary with director Mary Lambert. That's awesome. I need to fucking check that out. And then the interview with actor uh, Eddie Furlong. Well, she might bring it, in, bring it up then about like why all of a sudden Jeff is like possessed and him and Gus already like know each other in this way. They I have watched, to. Yeah, I watched like half of it, but first half was kind of boring. I mean, she was... She seems like a cool person, but she wasn't very interesting. It's, it might be one of those things where it's like, oh, yeah, uh, I'll, I'll do it. Like, uh, I haven't seen the movie in a while. And it's just like, fucking, yeah, for it to be really informative and you get the, the whole kind of money's worth and kind of get all the stories, it's, it's got to be kind of planned. So like, oh, I watched it again. I kind of took some notes. What I don't get is, God knows he'll do a cameo for two minutes. Why would you not get Eddie Furlong to do a commentary, too? Right? I know. I don't. I mean, well. what, I don't know how long the interview they did with them is, but I I love it when I see a movie that has like a, even if you can't get them all in the same room together, when they have like multiple, like you could have Mary Lambert doing one, you could have fucking paid him to do a commentary for ninety minutes over the movie, and you had just like all these different versions of a commentary. I don't know why they didn't do it. Maybe they knew he couldn't stay sober for two hours. I don't know. Who can, really? Who can? <laughs> <You know. laughs> I wonder if it's also possible that they, they attempt it, and maybe they're not always good. Yeah, that's true, yeah. They, yeah, I might scrap mm -hmm. some of those. Because you'd think, it, you'd think, like, of course, like, Eddie Furlong would do anything for a fucking meatball sub. <laughs> we'll have him sit here for an hour and a half and watch the movie and talk over it. Like, they do. Think, they do. There is a point, like, if you've ever seen those commentaries where they have a camera in there, they do, like, have craft service kind of bring in something to eat. So, like, what if it was, like, some people just say yes to, like, have a free meal? And it's like, oh, yeah. Well, I remember this scene. You wouldn't even have to fucking pay. We do it for free, for fuck's sake. Why wouldn't he do it for his own movie? He's, he's lip smacking on the, uh, the commentary. Yeah. <laughs> it's just fucking self, dude. Um, but, yeah, so, like, I, I, I find it hard to believe that they couldn't have had him do it and that they wouldn't maybe it's more likely that he did do one and it just didn't turn out well like it's a lot of yeah i don't really remember this can you hear me the mustard <laughs> well yeah can you, can you hear me the fucking like oh this great salami or whatever oh uh you know i yeah i guess it's possible that he doesn't have that much to say <laughs> and it's like there's too much dead air in this commentary we can't have this
Yeah, he, well, yeah, I mean, how much does he actually remember? I mean, his brain's probably fried. What would be great is Mary Lambert has hers, and then he does a commentary with him and Drew, like, oh, as that'd kids. Be cool. Yeah, yeah. Because I bet you someone like Drew remembers it if he never really acted after Absolutely, this. Absolutely, yeah. You know, he's like, I'm going to remember everything about the fucking one movie I was in. Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. Uh, and Anthony Edwards, they get him to do one. He can't stop fucking profusely crying because he's having repressed <laughs> rape dreams, flashbacks. <laughs> Who was it that did that to him? It was a producer, right? Was it a fa- really famous one? I don't remember. Yeah, I forgot the name. Uh, if we ever, if we ever got the name, fucking. Uh, I remember it was Goat that told us uh, that happened on a podcast. Like yeah, my fucking for whatever. But reason. I but I saw the headlines. I saw the headlines when Goat was saying it too. They're all he he did this a part of the Me Too movement. He kind of came out and with his story. So a question: This was the first movie we did with Zach. How mm-hmm. much later was it that we did uh, Brain Scan? Was that it, a we, bit later? We did those literally as a double feature one night. Oh, really? okay. That's, that's what I thought. Exactly. So eventually, we need to redo that movie. <laughs> it's good. Uh, it seems like we just watched Brain Scan and did that, doesn't it? It was probably fucking four years ago, five years ago. I don't know. It was a long time ago. Wow. Yeah. yeah that first uh, Pet Cemetery too, man. I still I haven't listened to it lately, but I was listening to it quite a bit because I, I that was my favorite commentary. I want to say Zach started recording uh, with this when. Uh, because you were still doing the Walking Dead podcast with me. I don't think he was doing it then. That was when I was in Tucson, Arizona. And I moved here in 2015. And I, yeah, because we were doing it when I had this like rental room for three months before I really got established here. So I'd say six years, which is crazy because, you know, if we'd been around a decade plus, Zach's technically been in tow over half of the, that's a long time. Yeah, yeah that's crazy. Mark one, Mark two, all these lineups and shit really didn't last that long when you think about it. <laughs> Corey G was in and out like fucking a month, you know, <laughs> a few, a few months. <laughs> but he's 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 lasted through all these years of great content on the show. Is, is, is he still working with a goat, Corey G, or no? He hasn't talked to him in a long time either. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I didn't know if they're still doing. That. Yeah, who knows? Uh, all right. Well, I, I, I guess that's it. I have no idea what we're doing for the rest of we really quick. We had an idea. I had an idea. Uh, so we're obviously celebrating Halloween. We have a couple more weeks and I was thinking for the actual week of Halloween, if we wanted to drop on Halloween or just like the normal day of Halloween, what if we had, we just did an old school podcast, like as a homage to that, that first call in show we did that anniversary show. And it's not really a commentary. It can just go for however long people want it to go. Uh, it could just be loose, telling Halloween stories, telling uh, just bullshitting. Because I remember on that episode, we talked ad nauseum about Pet Cemetery 2 and our love for all these fucking movies and just quoting shit and laughing. And we had people, I, I can even see if Dr. Sleaze wants to come back 10 years later. <laughs> like, and just like, I don't know, just have all these people. Obviously, it's different technology. We don't necessarily have to have people call in. But I don't know if we want to do that or but. why don't they why don't why don't you get some people to like, I don't know, video in so they can like do like have like a costume contest or something. So then you can like make fun of people's costumes. We can, I would we can jack off to all the big <laughs> and Stacey's in our audience. Well, I wish <laughs> all, all those dudes. Yeah. No, I wish uh, it'd be cool if we could uh, start letting people know now and maybe we could do something like, hey, record a video message. Because it maybe would be a little chaotic if it was people just having free roam coming in and out. But if we had some audio messages that were pre-recorded and they could ask questions, I just think it should be cool and it could be special and something like that. Uh, but I'm interested in something like that. You know? I could think about it. Oh, yeah. But what are we going to do as far as the next movie? Do we have any uh, ideas? What we, had, we threw around a lot of ideas because we did Night of the Demons last week with Goat. I wish Josh James would come on and do one with us, but I think he's in the middle of a move. But oh yeah, I don't know. Halloween five. <laughs> That's too soon. <laughs> Those wounds are still open. <laughs> Whoa! Did we actually? Because that's the one that went haywire, right? Oh yeah. Did we actually post a real one, or just the vaulted one? The vault. Fuck. Oh. So technically, Halloween five still needs to be done. 
Fucking, we did it. It was amazing. <laughs> fucking, you, you, you fucking left like a little bitch. It was amazing. You, you're not going to erase that. You will not erase oh, that. Oh, but I'm saying, is that, was that a vaulted <laughs> episode or was that public? Is that on the, is that on the YouTubes? It is. It's, I think it is. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Well, we could redo it. It'd be fucking hilarious. Big chat shit. I would, I would, it would be so much easier if that's the only one we're doing because we just did a month full of shit, man. And that was just the, uh, the boiling point of all of it. You could only sit through, Halloween, a uh, Rob Zombie H two, and fucking H five and H six, both versions before you're gonna blow. Like I can't do this anymore. If you're a weak person, the movie sucks so bad <laughs> that I have a feeling that's why Zach resorted to becoming Mark Three Zach because it's like I, these movies suck. I gotta make, I gotta have fun somehow, and it just uh. Oh, I know. love that movie. Fucking, I I've been lying to you the whole time. I just, I love that. I think it's a great film. Fucking, I don't know why. I just I went full autist. <laughs> Well, we'd be stupid and foolish if we didn't somehow do something for Halloween kills, right? Because that's coming out a week from today. So why don't we do that next week? Well, can, uh, Doesn't that yeah. make sense? We could. All right. Well, so I think that's what we should do because we can't ignore that. I mean, so hopefully everybody can get Peacock. We can. We just we, we wouldn't do that. Fucking, uh, We refuse to fucking do shit like that for some reason. We're always going above and beyond for the fucking fans. For the fans. There you go. All right, so let's wrap up. Uh, thank you guys all for listening and watching. Uh, by, uh, we always happen to record on the same night whenever Joe Bob premieres. So I know we have some usual suspects that are usually in the recording room. And they were saying, like, uh, Joe Bob's on. Sorry. So we always have to give way to Joe Bob. We always lose. <laughs> <laughs> our regulars when joe bob's on like I fair don't know enough why the fuck we do it when and i'm not just sitting here watching joe bob like why do i let you fucking dictate my but I can't but watch it's, joe but, bob in, time. but i know what the i know what the logic is well i mean i want to watch joe bob i can always watch the btm or revival house stuff tomorrow i don't have to watch it live but you could also do that with joe bob but that just says but joe bob's the king i guess well people what? communicate on twitter and stuff like that what what's joe bob showing again uh they didn't reveal it until the i guess okay. we'll know tonight do we know what he's doing? Is it themed? Don't know. It's Halloween. All right, Zach's fucking looking faded for some reason. All right, guys, thank you <laughs> one last time. If you wanna, if you wanna support us, we have a Patreon. Check it out, linked below wherever it is you're listening to us. Speaking uh, of which, we're on YouTube, of course, video format. But follow <laughs> us on uh, podcast form. What the fuck is wrong with Zach? I can't stop smiling. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> are you are you fucking laugh right now? What the fuck is going no. on? I just He's, ate some ice cream. Yeah, you're laugh. You're lit as fuck. <laughs> Did you eat some fucking mushrooms? Fucking ice cream. That's good. Ice cream, <laughs> Lieutenant Dan. All right, so I'll wrap this up so Zach can fucking let him fucking tweak. We'll give this a second. No, but uh, follow us on podcast uh, formats. You know, we're, we're everywhere you get your podcasts. And like I said, Patreon, two bucks a month. Goes a long way, supports us, and you get early access to content and bonus content. Just uh, check it out for yourselves and Teespring if you want to buy a shirt and rock some swag. Every little bit helps. And spread the love. Share us around. Uh, we're not exactly algorithm friendly. I'm pretty convinced we're shadow banned. And uh, so, look at Zach. What the fuck is he doing? Share us with your friends and let's, uh, <laughs> let's hit some more milestones. <laughs> All right. Bye bye, puppets. End of the week at the Revival House. Next month's theme, you gotta figure it out. Italian zombies are Polly Shore. I slash it with the knife and the girl next door. And one second in, get it all queued up and ready. Hit play in three, two, one. Bye bye, puppet. Zach Pete in a solo cup band. Couldn't this crack cameras love and Josh and Scott failed and Riverman's bail. Bye bye, puppets. Sounds good, like this country used to. Bible House. Peace now, y'all. Mmm. That sounds like fire, like this country used to. <laughs>